And after listening to, like, what, ten minutes of anime music, welcome back to Tales of the Abyss. Uh, first and foremost, you may notice that the numbers are a little different. I may have done some grinding for equipment. Because I didn't know that Big Sword was sold at, sword at the sold at the border pass. I had to fight a lot of enemies for a measly one dollar's worth of gold. Because I'm pretty sure gold is just yen. But I geared up everybody but Jade, because Jade's equipment is expensive. Also, I realized something. Uh, you may notice I have a new recipe. Apparently, Bina has sandwich recipe. And at that moment, I realized, shit, I need a guide. And then when I got a guide, I realized, ah, shit, I missed a capacity core on the fucking Tartarus. I think that's just missing. There is no Wonder Chef, sadly. I found the recipe on the floor in a house. But also, alongside the grind, I learned some new arts. Uh, Tyr got a lot. I think Tyr got three invokes while I was grinding. Anis got dual punishment, which is just a spin attack. Guy got crescent strike. Yes, that cook to cooking. Uh... Luke, because Luke has to learn some fucking people skills. But for the recap, okay, for the recap. Starting off, we learned that the Malkuth Empire is trying to get the Pope to initiate peace talks with Kimlasco and Vildir. Unfortunately, somebody doesn't quite approve of that. Now, who doesn't approve of that, you say, Highwing? Well, apparently it's the Pope's flunkies. By which I mean there are two... There are two, uh, types of factions in the religion. You have the liberal, you have the liberal Christian Phonus, which are, uh, the Super Pope and Van Grants. And then you have the conservative Pope, the conservative Phonus. I'm not joking, we have conservative Christians in this game. We have the conservative Phonus, which involve, uh, some dude named Mose, and the six God Generals, which are... Largo! Arietta, Lagretta, Dist, Sink, and Ash. They have attacked us multi they attacked us on the Tartarus and took the ship from us. And Jade, Jade didn't fucking like that, so he just said, Hey ship, shut the fuck down! And then the ship died because the command is called Corpse Hunt. And that's a cool fucking name for a shutdown command. God damn! Anyways, we realize, oh god, we gotta get away from the conservative Christians, so we, uh, hike our way to the border, going to St. Bina and leaving St. Bina, forgetting the fucking sandwich recipe along the way. And, uh, during this whole ta time, uh, Luke has a crisis, because he's never actually killed someone, because he is a sheltered boy. And the moment he kills someone, he's like, ah, oh, shit, I kinda don't like killing someone. I mean, I'll fight, I'm not a big bitch baby, but I'm not gonna kill someone if that's alright. And everybody's just like, Yeah, cool, but we're fighting for our fucking lives here, you're gonna have to kill someone. And Luke's like, No, I don't wanna kill anyone though! So there's this schism among the team of like, what the fuck are we supposed to do since Luke is a big bitch baby. But uh... We get to the border, and Van explains the problem of the conservative Christians, I mean phonists are trying to uh... Incite a war. This is this is way too this is way too period accurate. I'm losing my fucking mind. Uh and he's trying to stop the conservative phonus from starting a war. But in order to do that, we gotta deliver the Pope to Kimlaska at Landvildeer. And also, you know, use Luke to get in good with his uncle, that way they don't get shot on sight. But in doing so, we get we cross the border, we get to uh I think it's Kitesor? And oh look! Arietta blew up our boat, because you know that Liger we killed in in the uh, Chigo Forest? That was Arietta's mom? Because Arietta's a wild child that was adopted by the church. I can't make this up. This is what the game is. So Arietta's fucking furious. She wants to have Square Down nearby. So we gotta go to uh, Coral Castle, I think it was, in order to... Get the engineer being held hostage to fix the boat.
<sighs> Any questions, chat? Because I still have a lot. Like, I didn't real like coming back to this game, I didn't realize that the liberals and the conservatives were a thing in this game. <laughs> Let's go to a dungeon. I have one who ordered the code red. Oh, yeah, just put that in the back. I'll get to it later. Uh, Coral Castle. I got the game FAQs guide up to see if we don't miss anything. And we might miss something. There's something called the Shakujo. I don't know what that is. Also, man, I am out of breath trying to explain all of what happened in three hours yesterday. What the fuck? By the way, Coral Castle is the Duke's old summer home. And it was also where Luke was found uh, when he was kidnapped seven years ago and where he had trauma amnesia. So this was our vacation home, huh? Luke's hair is clipping into his coat. Luke, don't stray too far from the group. I know, I know, shut up already. Am I about to get punched by that ominous fucking statue? Yes, I am! Luke! Luke, behind you! Huh? How long do you take to turn on- Really, Luke? Are you fucking joking me? Oh, we're explaining back attacks, okay. That's your best? So you may have noticed that our, uh... Our team is a little a fucky right now, because what the fuck are you doing here, Jade? It's funny seeing Annis just swinging around on her doll. Yeah, that's how Annis go, and that's why I'm going to use her, because it makes people that's mad. That's why I told you to keep close. Because you were careless, our formation was broken, and we didn't have time to prepare for battle. I hope you learned your lesson. Shut up. How was I supposed to know that? What the hell was that thing, anyway? A, a, a statue, Luke. Surprise encounters occur when the ca character is touched in from, from behind by an enemy. During a surprise encounter, a random for party formation is selected. It's a phone tech doll designed to eliminate intruders. This is a relatively recent model, though it looks like it has seen better days. Oh, that's weird. Oh! I was so scared. Were you? You fucking dive bombed one of them. With monsters like that around, you've got to pay attention. That's not a monster, though. That's a robot. Okay, okay. I'll be careful. Jeez, enough. So it hasn't happened. A Hi. That's yeah, fucking whatever. I don't care about that. I got stuff to tutorialize. We haven't seen a back attack up until now, even though I've been actively attacked from behind because they had to establish it here. Look at that little doofy motherfucker. What's this? What's with this door? It won't open. It looks like it's been sealed with special phonons. <laughs> I wonder if there's something important inside. Is the answer more useful than Luke at this point? Oh yeah, absolutely, 100%. But Luke's the main character. Luke's a special boy because he has seven phonons in him. That's the only reason we're here right now is because his phonons interacted with tears and then their butts touched and they teleported out of here. What's going on here? Is this just dust in the air? I guess. Let's go. Take 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 Don't 
Stove, stove's off, don't worry. That's way too long. Anis has like fucking manic magic girl energies going for her, and I love it. Oh yeah, by the way, we should probably cook a sandwich. So I when I got the sandwich, I was a little perplexed by it because. There's only one required ingredient, bread. You don't need lettuce for a sandwich. Y you just need bread. Oh, it's a slimy sandwich. And uh, when you fail the recipe, you can't eat anymore. Oh, oh, that's just terrible. Was this guy guarding anything like was this just a divot in the wall okay oh, I know they'll get better at cooking I'm more stressed out by the fact that failing a cooking prompt prevents you from cooking again which is one thing that Eternia got right among a lot of things honestly Yo, bitch, get back here. I don't know what you are, but I want you. Where'd it go? What's this? I, I never noticed this. What the fuck is this? I can't interact with it. It's just there. Are you a dooter? No, but I could do something with you. I think I know what I have to do. I just don't know if I can accomplish it worth a damn. Is it like that? Emma? Emma? There we go. No way I think I know how it's supposed to go, because I just noticed the other one. Luke, come on! Use your dainty nobleman hands and grab that statue! Then the room resets and I scream. Okay, no, it didn't. That thing always runs away. I wonder if we can block it somehow, like I already did. I'm a genius. Die! Poltergeist! Man, the gear upgrade really makes a difference. Obtain a red orb. We got a Rorb. Oh well, I guess I'll keep this fucking mine now. Yeehaw. <laughs> I love how he's just like chi posing over there. So good. Yorb! I'll destroy you! Relinquish Yorb! Ooh, two for one. What? Just stay dead. Guy learned dash. Got the Yorb. Well. Oh, a sandwich is somehow worse than spaghetti for TP. Guy got Dash. Where is that? That is the first skill that we get that is all the way the fuck over here. He's just faster in battle. He got that because his uh, agility core puts him at that spot. Because, like, uh, compared to everybody else, Guy is McFast. Have you got any other skill from Elemental Fields? Uh, 
We got Chilling Blast yesterday when we used an Ice Field, but I think that's it. Oh god, do I gotta walk all the way back? No. I'm gonna walk all the way back with these Yorbs. Oh, I should also probably save. That would be prudent considering- Oh, no, 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 do not load! Don't you dare fucking load! There we go, save. Jesus Christ. With all the grinding I did, I better fucking save. Oh, I have the wrong Yorbs. <laughs> I don't know if he gets an emoji over that. So we have to find a poltergeist with a blue Yorb. I'm sorry, not a blue Yorb, that's a blue yellow orb. We, we need a blue. No! How is he so fast? Help! <laughs> Jade learned critical magic because he has a high magic skill. He can he is enabled to crit on magic. Also, it's very hard to hear, but I've played this game enough to I remember hearing it a lot. Every so often, if Tyr goes into melee, she will say nasty. Like she's dealing with an icky monster. Can't wait for more adventures in phonology. Oh. Oh. Uh, you missed it a while ago when we were talking about special phonons. But also you missed me a while ago on my fucking insane spiel with the recap. Because I still, I still can't get over liberal and conservative pho phonus. Ah! Oh no! Get out of my face! I can't believe Anna said, "Yeah, I'm a genius." That is way away from Reconquista and G. But I really wish there was one where she follows by going, "Oh no!" But yeah, if I remember right, um. I believe Anis is more physical than Caster. She just has very select spells going in. Give me Blorb! Come here, Blorb! You bastard! No! Get back here, you son of a bitch! This is a gimmick. I can't get this guy, can I? What am I missing? Cause like he just phases through me there. Oh fuck. I'll destroy you. And these guys just don't give a single flying fuck about hit stun. Fire! No, go away! Damn you! He cornered me, the son of a bitch! Why do I jump half the time? Am I still in manual? Also, God, horrible brain goblin energies in my brain. I just had a thought. In some weird reality, Anis could also pilot her fucking doll like in Geltnir. And I don't want that at all! I'm guessing I have to sneak up on the little bastard. No, back! Go away! Damn it. 
Yeah, that enemy's bad. Don't watch it. I don't like it at all. I like how Guy interrupted his own fucking quip. Also, this game also follows up with the idea of using, like, weapon models on the characters. But it looks very strange when Guy gets to sheathe this, she this massive broadsword in a katana. Oh yeah, we saw, like, I saw one episode in Anime Club and I was instantly disgusted. I gotta look at the guide to figure out how to get this dude to hang on. Oh, I have to I have to use fire on him, so I was just missing that whole time. Of mice and mew. That monster's body was going glowing blue. Yeah, maybe it has something to do with the door. But if we go after it, it just disappears. What should we do? Master, master, mice, make him go away! Huh? Mew is afraid of mice? What? <laughs> Cliche? Good bothering me. Why don't you just cook him or something? Alright, I'll incinerate my fellow Rodentia. I just have to aim this fire- I have to approach slowly and aim the fireball. There we go. Wait, wait, wait. Damn it! Oh wow, that fucked me up! Healing, please, tear, help! Thank you! Change the blorb. We can only hold two blorbs, so I gotta go back and get the rorb. Ah, oh, luckily this one is easy to get. No, no, motherfucker, get back here! You piece of shit! I, I know the gimmick. Come on, game, I'm not stupid. Alright, let's go! Ooh, new skill! Steel, raise your chance of making a critical hit. Oh, I like that. Well, first off, let's uh Let's change out Raging Blast just because it's a TP hog. Bang Blade is just reliable. That stage just doesn't last long at all, holy shit. There we go, now we have the requisite orbs to make purple. This game does have to use skills a lot of times. Uh, does a uh, Palm Blast have a skill associated with it? Or does, actually the better question, does Steel have a skill associated with it? Twenty saves into the game. Heard of Demon Fang gonna have flashbacks to Legendia. Oh, Demon Fang is fucking bog standard, but that's what Guy's ability is. He has the uh, he has the core tail set. You solved color theory. Good job, you.
I don't understand this guide. Because the guide said after this I should be level 18. And I don't know how he got at that math. And it's learned void magic. Hooray! That was for FOF arts. You're using FOF enough times you get it as a normal art. Oh shit, hey Ayla, what's up? Welcome to phonology, I guess. Did I turn this off by accident? Why is that not on? Oh, I think I haven't learned it yet. Fangblade, have a quick raging blast for running through. Ah. Huh, these guys are whips. Don't get popular. What about your skill uses that anyways? Havoc Strike is at 73, so that's good. Sonic Thrust is at 40. Fang Blade is at 117, so I should probably switch to... No, uh... Raging Blast is at 54 as well. I think it's just Sonic Thrust that I haven't been using. I don't understand how this how the guide I'm reading expects me to be level 18 after this dungeon. It's fucking wild. Let's do this! Sonic Thrust! Sonic Thrust! That she thing right there is the funniest fucking thing to me. He just jammed that giant broadsword in the pocket space. The guy that I followed for attorney recommended grinding a lot. Ah, so it's basically people being bad. Okay. What the hell? What's this weird machine doing in our vacation home? What's this pod doing here? What is this? Colonel, do you know what it is? No. I can't be sure. And even if I were... That'd be a fucking nightmare. What? Has it got something to do with me? I can't be certain yet. Give me a little more time to think about it. I think this is the first time I've ever heard you sound nervous about something. There's something I'm concerned about as well. If what's troubling you is related to Luke's kidnapping... Uh-oh. Here comes the comedy! Get away! W what Yeah, this isn't a pit. I... That was more than just a startled reaction. What's wrong? Yeah. I'm sorry. My body just reacted. Guy has problems. Sorry about that, Annis. Are you alright? Yeah. Did something happen? That didn't look like a mere aversion to females. I'm sorry. I really don't know. I wasn't like this as a kid. But there's a part of my memory that's completely missing. The cause may lie there. Oh man, fucking two people with amnesia now. Oh shit! Your memory is messed up too? I don't think it's the same thing. I'm only missing the memory from a single moment. How do you know it's just one moment? I know. The only thing that's missing is the memory of when my family died. Oh. Enough about me. I want to hear what's on your mind, Colonel. Wow, just like fucking casually drop that guy? What the shit? 
Just as you'd rather not talk about your past, there are some things I wish not to talk about as well. Welcome to the brooding past, boys. The guy's parents are dead. You didn't know either? No. I might have heard about it when I was a kid, but I can't remember anything from before when I was kidnapped. And Guy doesn't talk about the past much anyways. Well, like the colonel said, everyone has things they don't want to talk about. You should probably let him be until he decides to bring it up. I don't need you telling me how to deal with Guy. Stop lecturing me. Can we do a thing here? Or is this uh, just window dressing right now? I think this is just window dressing. But yeah, behold the pod. This will be relevant in 15 hours. Ah, shit. We have a problem ahead of us. Look, make us that spaghetti! The mystery machine. Huh. Colonel, we've been thinking about something ever since we saw that machine. Hmm? It's not like you to pry, Annis. Well, you look so serious. What are you talking about? I'm always serious. I'm like the Hulk. Haha, <laughs> don't worry. I'll talk about it at once I'm certain of what it is. Until then, let's just leave the subject alone, okay? Okay. I am serious, and don't call me Shirley. I can see you, Jade, saying that just to be a piece of shit. Oh wow, I wasted my healing. Radical. All right, let's go. I could have used that one orange gel. That's what it is. Oh no! That's your best? I need someone to draw the meme of Annis doing the uh the I'm a genius oh no meme. It feels like it'd fit perfectly. Just her riding a topper doll going, yeah, I'm a genius, and then getting knocked the fuck over going, oh no! Or instead of oh no, she says, I'll fucking kill you! So far, Tyr is the best character in this game. Eh, I disagree. My tier list is uh, Jade, then Guy, then Tyr. So Tyr's up there, but I wouldn't say the best. Actually, I'd probably just put Annis above tier personally, because I think Annis is hilarious. Guy will probably be up there once some more is known about him going into this blind. Man, we have a lot of people going into this blind. I'm kind of surprised. Shaku Joe, that is a weapon. That is a stafe. Yeah, I think we want this on Annis because she's a high physical character. Also, keep in mind, I'm more person. I'm I find Guy more uh, entertained because I like that archetype of character. I enjoy that trope. There's one. Luke, let's follow it. Sure, that's a good idea. I'm going too. Wait, please don't hurt Arietta. Oh, we're gonna beat the shit out of Wait, that kid. It could be a trap. My my, there they go. 
Impetuous little things, aren't they? They really could stand to use their heads a little. I've already played this game, I remember most of the plot beats. I thought I did, but I was wrong! Ah, shit! Well, there I go! This is more confirmation that Luke has hollow bones. Oh, I covered iron! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Look at Luke! That's so good! Arietta, I- er, Arietta. <laughs> Ow! Not that hurt! That was good. You hurt me first. You took Ion away from me. Arietta, that's not true. Like, this just more than confirms that Luke has to weigh like 15 pounds. He has hollow bones. It wasn't anything like that. The reason you were distanced from the Phone Master Guardians was- You're unstable. Luke! Honestly. Only he'd be a little more careful. Ah, what? What? Armchair, hello? Oh no! What the fuck is Armchair doing? Dist is involved in this too? Oh, brother. Oh, what are we going to do now? Hmm? Tear, did you say something? N no, it's nothing. Let's hurry up and rescue Luke and the Chief. It's my fault. Oh, I can't believe I let this happen. That stupid Arietta. I'm gonna no, no. kill her ass. If they're going to this much trouble, I doubt they intend to take his life. And the one they really want, Ion, is still with us. Is this a gameplay thing? Or is this just narrative? Ah, I see. Even the phonon frequency is the same. This is a perfect creation. Please elucidate on this, Liam O'Brien. That's not important. We have to erase the data before they come back. If the data here is that important, you shouldn't have had Ash use Coral Castle in the first place. Help, I'm trapped in circles. That idiot came here on his own. We'll have to have Van punish him later. Oh look, this idiot here is finally coming around. No matter. I've already opened his synchronized phone slots. Oh, you've unlocked my magic circuits? Am I gonna start growing swords now? I'll be going now. I can't wait to analyze this data. <laughs> this is such a fun fucking villain because he's Saturday morning tier. And that's why he's great. He doesn't give a fuck about sticking to the narrative. He just exists to be a goob and fly around in his chair. I see no reason to answer that question. This Beyblade looking motherfucker though, I really don't care. Die! No. <laughs> You're really good at that guy. What? You? This is like the second character we don't get to see the face of, and it's really what? annoying. What is it? <laughs> wow! It's like the one time guy eats shit. Here. This was an unauthorized mission. It's too bad I can't kill you myself. But I'll leave it in Arietta's capable hands. She's on the roof with the hostage. Hope you enjoyed our little game. Whew. What the hell was all that? Funny is what it was. What is it, guy? I don't know, I saw oh, something fucking nothing. weird. I got hold of a strange phone disc, so I was just wondering what it was. Who puts a disc in a phone? Let's have Jade look into it later. Are you okay, Luke? What in the world did they want to kidnap you for? How should I know? Why the hell does this stuff always happen to me? Also, why am I like 15 pounds? It's Arietta's fault. She's going to pay for this. She's on the roof, right? I hate running around like this, but we have no choice. Let's go. Time to do the next two rooms all over again, young man. Phone 
disc. Where are you? A disc taken from Sync at Coral Castle. Must use a phonic disc reader to learn what it holds. What it... Oh, here we go. What are the Oracle Knights up to anyways? There was talk about them starting a war, but... The Oracle Knights aren't trying to start a war! No, it seems more like the six god generals are moving independently under someone else's orders. Perhaps Arietta could tell us more. I doubt Gloomietta knows anything. She doesn't strike me as a secret orders kind of person anyway. Well, she did say she was following Ash's instructions back in Kitesur. Ash? You mean Ash the Bloody of the Six God Generals? Y you know this guy! You got the shit beat out of him! No wait, you didn't get the shit beat out of him. You saw Luke get the shit beat out of him! So all we know right now is that the, that the Six God Generals on Ion for something, but we don't know what. They did something to Luke, but we don't know what. They're just kind of doing things. But yeah, that cutscene is really good because it shows how really well done the cutscene fight choreography is. Oh, is Void Tempest the one that I think I'm thinking of? Help! We really had no choice. Guy's victory pose here is so goofy because he looks like he's about to bonk you with his sword sheath. And not like in the cool way like Virgil does in Devil May Cry, more like the uh, comical way. Like he's a teacher about to tell you that you got your answer wrong. Uh, hang on a second. I have to click on this now. There we go. Since they're fighting one on one from the distance, this makes a dual disc. No, 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 no! It's not fucking Yu-Gi-Oh. It's Beyblades. We talked about this. No cutscene, no cutscene. I want to see my status. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not falling for that again. Luke is really good at using Mew as like a tactical battle projectile. Bad for you. Oh, give it a rest. You shot fire at my friend. I'm really gonna make you pay now. Do you think they gave her the doll that way they don't have to animate her her uh, lip syncing? Shut up already. You've caused enough trouble, you little brat. I don't care. I'm going to kill you all and take back Ion. You killed mommy. Now you die. Who's ready for an actual boss fight? If I remember right, this one sucked. We have a Liger. Uh, this feels wrong. Press Velger, really? No, no, wait. It's Ratatos that was a squirrel. Press Velger is the bird. That's right. And Arietta. Uh, let's use a magic lens on the Liger. Three thousand HP. Resist wind. You can hear the kids fighting in the background, it's kinda hilarious. Also, Arietta has limited, so you gotta be careful. Oh, by the way, uh, Ennis' pets could burst. That's one down. Next up is Bird Up. 
So we haven't seen this yet, but uh, over limit is a new thing in these games. I forget if it starts before this or not. Bird is weak to fire. Also, this bird is like weirdly jacked and it makes me uncomfortable. Oh, we're in trouble. Oh, fuck. Uh, who is neutral right now? I think Guy is, so I could probably life bottle. That's one now. Who used an item, damn it? I didn't authorize this. Aria, 3000 HP. She's already almost dead. It's a good thing I scanned her. That was a little touch and go there. There are only a couple of characters who used Mystics during Overlimit in Symphonia. Ah, so it started at Symphonia, okay. Also, Jade got one of his trademark spells back. He learned Splash. I knew letting her live would come back to haunt us. Time to murder an eight-year-old! Wait, I'll take Arietta back for an inquiry before the Order of Lorelei. God damn it, so Pope! So please, don't take her life! Yes. That would be best. Ah, shit. Best. Ah, shit. Jade, you gotta put your murder poner away. There was no word of the phone master's arrival in Kitesur, so I came here just in case. I'm sorry, Van. There's no point in dwelling on what's already been done. Now I have to punish my subordinates. You there, Arietta. No television for a month. I'll take Arietta into my custody. Is that all right with you? Yes. Please do, and please treat her wounds. How do you plan to explain her crimes to his majesty and the military? I was really expecting her to grab her by the cuff of the collar. We will follow proper order procedure, punish her, and issue a report. That's how lawful society operates. Ah yes, lawful I society. I have soldiers and a coach from Count Almondine, the Kitesur commander. I'll escort the maintenance chief home as well. Over a little bit in Symphonia's game by taking damage cooking food, and there was one other trigger. What will you do, Ion? I'd prefer you to come with me, but... It seems some of us are interested in this castle, but... I want to walk back! I want to walk back. Once we get on the ship, we'll be back in Batacle in no time anyway, right? Well, the route does have us stopping in Kessidonia along the way. It sounds like we'd prefer to walk, so we'll catch up to you later. Understood. I believe that was a nice choice. Oh, I guess the I guess the animal companions are just fine. Coming back to this game, I totally forgot that Luke, even though he's kind of a, a an asshole, his assholishness is pretty good for like fight encounters, where he's just like this very clever douchebag. So you're gonna fuck with me? I got this squirrel that can breathe fire! Just stay dead. Also, man, I think we maybe should have taken the stagecoach because we also got a walkout. God damn it. Uh, do we have anything? I don't think we have anything that we- Oh no, right, Anna slammed something. Eagle dive, Anna says a ground pound. Uh, I need to use a lot more steel, that's for sure, but I think everything else has met the requirements for, uh, learning shit. 
Luckily, this game doesn't have random encounters, so walking back is actually not a pain at all. I think by that result, I don't know if holy bottles are in this game or not. I think they are, but they don't do as much. Man, that stash is fucking going for it. Holy shit. Yeah, we're supposed to be level 18 by the end of this, according to my, my guide. I don't know if my guide's any good. Hello? Oh, Jesus Christ. We don't, we don't want to fuck with that, no. We absolutely don't want to fuck with that yet. That thing will stop my dick in. That is an optional boss. It is called uh, the Sword Dancer. You know how uh, Arietta, Liger, and Hurst Velger only had like 3,000 HP each? The Sword Dancer has 20,000 HP and deals 200 HP damage per hit. That motherfucker would lawnmower our asses. Fuck with it. Well, I do have time powers, so you know what? Fine. I'll fuck with it. Sword Dancer? Apparently it's a trope that wasn't in the earlier games, because I don't remember Sword Dancer in, uh, in, uh, Eternia. Let's go! Yo! That thing was dope! Oh, there we go. Uh, life bottle, my happy ass. Oh, this guy is a Dark Souls boss because he can hit behind him. Oh, I'm in the corner. Too bad. Oh, then it overlimits. Oh, cool. That's how you get spark waves. And I'm dead. You die, Anis. That's good. It's dangerous to use so many items. Sonic Frost. I'm in trouble here. Sonic Frost. No way. That actually wasn't too bad. Oh, and we also got over limit. The guy learned run away. Jade also got lucky end. I found a play to freebie. I shall await our next encounter until then. That is a, actually a... Oh, I guess that's how we get to level 18. Huh. I guess the guide was fucking right. Did somebody say a holy war? Oh yeah, fucking the conservative faunists, man. They want their holy war, dude. I love me a good old-fashioned holy war. You actually missed a, uh, a boss fight. Well, an optional boss fight that we beat by the skin of our teeth. Which is really funny, because the whole time we were, like, level 13? 
by the by the end of the dungeon actual, and my god says you have to be a level 18 by the end of it, and I was like, how the fuck are we supposed to be level 18 by then? What are you talking about? And, and then I became level 18 with one optional boss fight. Yeah, it checks out. I was gonna say, let me tell you about playing Arise and being like, 10 levels too low for a bunch of bosses. Also, we learned Overlimit re recently. Hell yeah. Once we learn- Ooh. What was that, anyway? Sure was a lot stronger than the other monsters around here. Its phonons felt weird. Different from the other monsters. Different? You don't mean a g -g -g ghost or something? A ghost? No, it didn't look like the plasmic or anything. Not like a normal monster ghost, like a roaming spirit of the dead kind. Oh, those ghosts! You can't actually believe they exist. Besides, we killed it. I certainly hope we did. Don't say things like that! That's actually really funny that Skip brought that up. Because they're just like, no, 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 not the monster ghosts, the, the other ghosts, the spooky ghosts. Oh! People ghosts! People ghosts! Okay. Nah, people ghosts aren't real. What are you, crazy, Luke? But yeah, that, that's that been a fun part about getting back to Arise, is being in the end game and fighting all these special bosses that are ten levels higher than you and crying as you spend all your money on healing items. Oh yeah, that that's that's Tales post-game in a nutshell. Bird, go away! I love spending about 40, 50,000 gall to boss. Yep. I mean, that's what we spent to fight fucking Secundas. Yeah, but there are so many in Arise. Wait, was that place a light just to not have any materials? Are you kidding? Let's go. Yep. Check this out. Ooh, new skill. Everybody learned a new skill! I you learned get a new skill! You get a new skill! I believe we got two compound skills, so I can start comboing now. So I want um, Sonic Thrust into Fangblade Havoc. Yeah, canceling in this game is a lot easier. I am glad they would eventually do away with TP. Yeah, it's a... I can understand why, because it's supposed to make you, like, conserve your, your uh, resources, but, like, it's a, it's a, it's a spectacle fighter. You're not, like, having, needing TP to do that feels fucking rough. Like, why do I gotta spend six TP to cast Stinger? Uh, we've been waiting for you. You have our because there are other ways to manage that stuff anyway. The chief. It was no walk in the park, that's for sure. Luke Instead, so they came heroic. up with CP and Arise, which was terrible. Oh, Anis, you are so fucking easy. <laughs> was I really that good? Except for the getting kidnapped part. He solved the problem. Shut sort up. Of. What was that? I said sort Orphan of. Vice Commandant Dorian General Van Grants gave me a message for you. Dorian General Grants is currently meeting with Lieutenant General Almondine, commander of the Kitsuer area. I thought when he said Almondine, I thought it was spelled like almonds. He would like you to come to the meeting hall later, at your convenience. As for the ship, repairs are proceeding smoothly. Keep up the good work. Oh yeah, Torpo, you missed it last time we were at St. Bina and I was laughing my ass off. Thank you. I'll get Just back to Just because all now. the fucking, uh... It's Kabbalah, right? Mm-hmm. All the references after coming back from Lobotomy Corporation, I'm like, Oh, oh, where are all the evil goth where ladies? Where do they meetings? What's happening? Yes, tell me more. Down by the port. We're going to Kessedonia, so we're going to a place with a lot of coffee. Okay, let's go check it out later. How to cure a guy. Hmm. What are you up to, Anis? I'm here to meddle. Flooding the murder tier, perhaps? Eliminate an obstacle to marrying Luke? Of course not. I never do anything like that. It's about guy. Ah, his fear of women. Yeah, it's funny. You see how seriously terrified he was? It's like I can't really tease him anymore. Terrified, huh? Whoa! Don't worry about it. Not to quote, not to quote Ion or anything. But perhaps being teased during this journey may help me to get over it. Well, he reacted most strongly when you grabbed him from behind. 
As long as you avoid that, you should be just fine. That's right. And he's, do not grab his ass. Tickle fight! That doesn't look like a tickle fight at all. Just looks like they're screaming at each other. When they bring in the portraits, it's always cute, but like, those ones didn't really work. Also, did they just say nibble? It's just like, like, he's yelling because she's yelling, and she's yelling because he's yelling, and they just keep going. It's basically a sibling fight at this point. I would love to rest at the barracks, thank you. And yeah, we also saw, um... Got one of Guy's reactions to where... Uh, Anis was just trying to be cute, and then Guy, like... Basically just shat himself in terror. And it's not like before... Another day. And it's not <laughs> like before, like, um... Like, in the other scenes where it looks like he was just, you know, being like a big old anime skit. It looked like he stumbled upon a body. Thank you, dear. So I have no idea what they were talking about in the sky. I think they're just discussing how tenacious the Oracle Knights are. <sighs> Mew looks like he's supposed to be in, like, a fucking kiddie pool or something. Also, seeing these older games has made me appreciate how incredibly overt the relationship in Arise is. <laughs> I know, right? It's awful. Cause like there's a there's... it's it's so nice not having them beat around the fucking bush the whole game. Moving I get stopped for Kisidonia before reaching Batical. Uh, how do you know that, Sergeant? Oh, sweet, you got the stuff. Hmm, can I sell anything? I can. Like, I just appreciate that they don't pussyfoot around it, and it is very overt. Jesus fucking Christ, why are gels so expensive? Dude, let me fucking tell you, the thing that kills my wallet in Arise is in fact the orange and pineapple gels. Yeah, but those are by design, but like an apple and orange gel is like, ugh, fucking kill me. No, 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 I want to find a weapon shop. It makes me really sad in Arise that those are all flat values. Oh, they're not percentage-based. Aww. Yeah, it's pretty awful. That's just like breaking the spirit of a Tales game. What the fuck? Well, it's because you have uh, cure points. So I think they're, they think this, they they assume that's going to make up the difference. But holy fuck, cure point restoring items are expensive. Well, let's advance the plot and we'll probably get items, uh, weapons over at Kessedonia. Alongside a good cup of coffee. Ah, oh, look. It's good to see you again. You certainly look like an almond. Nah, his, his face isn't the right shape. Me? I visited your mansion in Batacool once when you were young. I'm Almondine. Sorry, buddy. The amnesia, you know. Sorry, don't remember you. Oh, well, you were still a small boy at the time. Phone master. I've informed Count Almondine. To be fair, they should be playing that uh, amnesia thing close to the belt. Please forgive I think my it's public mistakes. information. I hope I can expect not public Doth enough. To deal with the matter in good faith. Doth. Doth was the final layer of Elcorp, right? No. Say, could you send a message to my father? I mean, I know what it is, what it is, but I'm trying to remember what it was in Elcorp. A message? If we use a carrier pigeon, I believe we could get a message there before you arrive. But. Get are, are pigeons faster than boats? That's fine. Tell him I'm bringing Phone Master Ion and Colonel Jade Curtis of Malkuth, and that... Luke, your lack of prudence is truly astounding. <laughs> Luke, did you just tell the enemy army... Did you just tell my enemy army that I'm here? Colonel Curtis? You mean to say this is Jade the Necromancer? Put another one on the chalkboard. That's correct. My deepest apologies. And for yeah, yeah. Uh, Dot is in fact the uh, I carry a letter of the point where the all Majesty, points on the Sephiroth are united. Ah. So yeah, I think you're right. Your entourage is smaller it's just than D -A I would expect. It's just D-A-A-P-A-T. We've suffered a great deal of interference. I hope you can forgive us. I lost a lot of soldiers to some fucking kid with monsters. These guys saved me. Put in a good word for them. All right. I'll send a carrier pigeon to the mainland at once. You gotta give Luke credit. He's kind of a dick, but at least he's using his clout for good. 
The ship will be ready to leave by tomorrow. So please get some rest here. Yeah, the problem is he lets it go to his head too easily. Yeah, you're not wrong. Thank you. Like, there's got to be some good to the awful pile of Luke. To be fair, in the grand scheme of things, his heart is in the right place. He's just kind of an asshole. He was raised wrong, as a joke, you see. But yes, actually. It's about time to sit still. You ready to leave? Yeah, let's get out of here. As will ever be. Actually, I should be consulting the guide. Uh, nothing in Kitesur except armor we could have just bought. Kessedonia does have something, though. I thought they were preparing a gun with that sound! Who farted in the bassoon? Wait, isn't this the same exact layout as the Tartarus? The, the Tartarus? I don't know, maybe. If you let it be. Not again! Oh no, heart attack! Awaken. Hurry. Heed my voice. Oh no, not the anime disease. Poor Luke, he has anime-itis. That's why he tries to be a douche, because he doesn't want to be anime. Sorry, you've got a terminal case of the anime. Hey, boss, what's up? Dorian General Grants wishes to see Does he spin the halberd? Because he's trying to be fancy. He asks that you wait on the deck. He wants to be that guy's like, ah, oh, it's Spinny Halberd Boy. Look at that Master guy. Van? Okay. He's spun it twice. He's really good at it. My first boat trip, and I get these stupid headaches again. <sighs> I guess the sea isn't all that bad. What the fuck is Mew doing? Vibing. Wow, look, there's water all around us! This is my first trip to the sea. Don't be a dick to Mew. I'm so surprised. Well, it's so great about water anyways. I'm totally bored here. There's nothing to do. But Master, you just said that the sea isn't all that bad. God, when you just see his look zoomed out like that, it just... It's really goofy, yeah. Luke is a very strange case of protagonist. Also, hey! his abs look kind of funky in the hand-drawn version. Do you remember when the two of us first met Luke? I told no. you I don't remember any of that. That was before I was kidnapped. Yeah, you're right. I mean, you're completely different. Yeah, you used to be a decent guy. Huh? Uh, I'm just glad you're you. Thanks, I get a feeling he wasn't a decent guy. Man, if Guy is okay with us now and, is, and appreciates how we are now, we must have been a complete twat back in the day. Yeah, we have been a raging fucking gun. Like, once again, at least as you are, your heart is in the right place. You're Arietta just the wild master. is being held here on the charge of treason against the phone master. Oh god, what did Fenful do? Oh no, I'm gonna look. <laughs> Thank you, Fenfil! This is great! <laughs> what am I? Uh, when Arya, when, uh, Annis fights, at some point when she kills someone, she says, Heh, I'm a genius! And my first thought is, oh my god, you're that motherfucker from Gro Reconquista and G. It's, it's really good, Fenfil. <laughs> then we need the variant of her being pissed going, I'll fucking kill you! We ask that it still looks pretty good for a messy content. sketch, Benfell. Yeah, it's really good, but like, this is great. It is, I'm honestly going to say, surprisingly clean. Like, for a sketch, it is surprisingly clean. 
Oh boy, orange gel. That saved me 400 gold. God damn. Boat! Let me tell you... Let me tell you about Endgame Arise and never having any money. Yeah, does it still have the 15 item limit? I bet it does. Uh, depends on the item. Oh, interesting. But healing items, yes. Healing items are all 15 max. I hope what's happened won't incur King Ingebert's disfavor and cause negotiations to fall through. Ingebert? Ingebert. Don't worry, I'll explain everything to my uncle. I'll ask father and mother to help too. That's so wild that, that Luke's just casually got the king as his uncle. That's right. Your mother I mean, his magic yeah, that sister. happens. It's how royalty works. So relax. I thought he was like lesser royalty, you know, not directly related to the king. I mean, what what's his title? Uh, Luke? I don't know if Luke has a title specifically, but his dad is the Duke. Yeah, Duke is big dick royalty, dude. Can I ask Duke you is way high question? up there. What? What do you think of Tyr? Spooky. <laughs> oh! Oh no! I don't like any of these choices! I'd say she's my type. Who do you like? Mysterious assassin or this 13 year old? Yeah, as as Selnar said, ducal families are one step removed from royal type. families. Oh, no, words, if enough I people see. die, they could I become next in line, but that would also be a huge succession then crisis. Maybe I'll be good enough for you. Oh. Right now, I'm still a kid, but I love you, Luke. Uh, also, certain oh, forms of royalty will actually have like princes so and princesses be me. archdukes until they, you know, become king or queen. Also, man, I, the dinner I made was pretty good, but it is making my stomach go fucking crazy. Oh, that's right. You're a baby when it comes to spice. It's not... So you weren't actually a true seventh bonus after all. It's not spicy. That wasn't the issue. I think the ingredients are making my... Let's just say I have to mute for reasons that would make you fucking bust, a, bust out laughing. <laughs> Please do not rip one on stream. I'm trying really hard, but my stomach is like, yo, we're gonna make... We're gonna make so much fucking gas, dude. What is it that's killing you? I remember. You I don't know, but my son was just like, "Yo, we're gonna make a lot what of gas, mean, man." Anyway? Didn't your tutors teach you? Oh hell yeah, Fenful posted on Twitter. This is great. six notifications what the fuck i don't know man i'm gonna oh, tell you how to live oh, your life right right half of them are max and chachi telling me i really need to finish uh, godzilla what was it final wars yeah okay it goes places it fucking goes places by the way chat godzilla final wars is really good it's the really great the first thing the first proper kaiju fight you see is incredible and then it How gets better. I, know? I don't remember. I can't believe they used some 41. It's so lame. You lost your yeah, it's really ago, right? fucking great that they had something? shitty CGI Godzilla as part of one of the monsters that gets absolutely bodied. I had a lot of other things I had to learn, like my parents' faces. That's a weird bit of amnesia that people don't really tell you about is that everybody looks foreign to you. All matter contains phonons, basic particles of sound. Phonons are divided into six elements. Wait. Hey, um, my brain just took a dump right now. She just said that all matter is comprised of sound. Yeah, it's what, just like the Elder Scrolls. What? What? Combining phonons with memory particles from the planet's core yields an enormous amount of energy. What's confusing you? 
I don't know anything about the Elder Scrolls. Also, Dave. Let me tell you about the tonal architects and how you can manipulate reality via sound. Oh, god damn it. Also, Dave, you can just see fucking Tears Garter Bells there. Holy shit. A device was made to supply fuel to the world by passing those particles through the phone belt. That's what's known as the Planet Storm. Okay, wait, so... Okay, okay, okay. Replacing one proper noun with another proper noun isn't making it easier to understand, ma'am. <laughs> so what you're saying is we take sound particles, combine it with the world's energy, put it in a tube, mix it together, and we have planet fuel? Is that what I'm hearing here? Sure. Sounds complicated. So... Wait, I don't remember this about Disco Elysium. Is that the pale that I've been hearing so much about? The oh man, I'm gonna have to fucking mute the all of you. And the memory particles. Okay, we should probably Cause... stop about D. And that was the birth of the seventh phonon. Those who use it to perform phonic arts are called seventh phonists. I don't know what to make out of that story, but I'm no phonist. Yeah, I don't have musical theory whatsoever in my bones. Let me but tell you, you about a Chrono Cross. With me. You're capable of using the seventh phonon. That's something you're born with. Now that you mention it, Jade can't use the seventh phonon. Yeah, that's wild, buddy. You ain't got a single musical tone in your body, but you can, you got this special song element. Right. Maybe he's born with very it. Few seventh Maybe phonists. it's Maybelline. Scores, those who read the score, and healers are both seventh phonists. So basically, it means special phonists who use a special phonon. <laughs> basically. I'm sorry. Huh? What's with you all of a sudden? Also, I never noticed this, but uh, I just noticed that Tears Idle Sense is a bit odd in that her knees kind of like buckle in on themselves. I don't uh, think it's called knock knees, buddy. Very seriously. I've been unkind to you this whole time. I'm ashamed of myself. No, give yourself more credit. Luke no, you had every right to be unkind to him. Luke is a douche. It's okay. It's not he, really a... He may be mellowing a bit, really sorry. but you had a right to be a dick to him then. Yeah. Oh no, what are these feelings arising Awkward inside me? tales pairings. Why is it that every time... He says something stupid. I get all tingly inside. Why do my knees buckle whenever he says something dumb? Oh god. Ow. Ow. Oh no, heart attack! Uh. My body's moving on its own. <laughs> no. We don't want to hear that at all. My body's moving on its own, senpai. Why am I moving? I have reached you. Who the hell are you? I am connected. Show me your power. The same power as mine. I am connected. Are you the one controlling me? What the hell are you? I knew I wasn't just hearing things. Oh, good thing I'm just casually walking here. What the fuck's happening? What's going on? No, stop! Luke, calm down. Calm down. Take a deep breath. That's it. Now focus your mind on the tips of your fingers. I'm going to teach you how to Kamehameha! Luke, listen to my voice. Now relax, just like that. I'm glad Van is here, the one person who's able to help him, and this is time of need. All right, Luke. Thank you, Van, for pe for being in the perfect place at the perfect what? time. What happened? Very to conveniently. I would presume a hyper resonance occurred. Another one? A hyper resonance? You mean that thing that blew us to Tataru Valley? Yes, that was also the power of hyper resonance, though in an incomplete form. Master, what's happening to me? Oh, hang on a second. I gotta redeem here from Selnar. <clears throat> Man, I see that the script has really phoned it in, bottom tish. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Haven't you ever worried about your kidnapping? And the way you've been forbidden to leave the mansion? 
Well, that's because, you know, my father's worried about me. Because you're a bioweapon. No. It's to keep you, the only person in the world who can cause a hyper-resonance on his own, on a short leash here in Kimlaska. What are you saying, Van? Wait, Master, hold on. I don't understand what you're saying. Just what is hyper-resonance, anyway? A hyper-resonance is a power that occurs when two seventh phonons interact. It can destroy and reform any matter. What if you were a nuke on two legs? That's you, Luke. That's you. Luke, have you ever heard a about- A walking nuke. Have you ever heard of splitting the atom? That's what you do. Normally, it occurs only under special conditions, with two seventh phonists present. So, two seventh phonists can't be in the same room at the same time. Legally speaking, but yes. I can cause it by myself? Like what just That's why happened. we're gonna cut you in two. So, like, in the designated tails pairings, if they actually do get down, they're just gonna fucking explode. Him and Righty are the designated pairings. Yes. With training, you could control it at will. It would be useful in war. I Your already see where Van stands. That's why Malkuth wanted you. Are you saying I've been held captive in my own home as a weapon? Yes. Wait, do they plan to keep me this way my whole life? Yes. Yes, because you're actually kind of a problem, Luke. Well, your engagement to Princess Natalia means your holding cell will likely change to the castle. I refuse to accept that. That's why they yeah, kept you stupid. Outside, but staying trapped in my home just to be used in some war? Calm down, Luke. Congrats, First, that's why your personality is so twisted, then because we'll it was meant to be, Luke. Success. If we do that, it will establish your status as a hero who preserved the peace. Oh, wow. Ban is not a good person. No, he is not, because I... I am... There is a scene that just flashed into my head where I'm just like, Oh, you motherfucker. At the very least, you should be set free from your unfair imprisonment. You think so? You really think so, Master? Van subscribes to the chaos ending of an SMT game. Don't worry. Have confidence in yourself. You've been It's so really good because this is the same dude who voiced the uh the head of the agency slash big villain of um uh the Fuck what was it? Of hyper Xbox will make 360 you a game. Hero. That's a lot of Running around Running around and jumping was the entire point. Brink? Driving around sweet No, not Brink. Uh, I don't fucking know then, dude. A hero. Me, a hero. I could be a hero! Looks like we've arrived. Here, we'll change ships for one headed to Batical. Oh man, a thought. This is just like Emiya. Cheer up, Luke. <laughs> a Emiya face just wants to be a, a hero. hero. Right. That, 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 that's not a, a plot element that occurs in Fate, does it? Like, well, no, nobody actively manipulates Shiro like this, does he? He just has that mindset of wanting to be a hero. Yeah, it's, uh, it, it's something of his own, basically. I farewell here. I have to turn Arietta over to the inspector and Has she been unconscious the whole boat ride? What? I want you to come like with you us. Do. I'll head for Batico later. Don't be selfish, Luke. Luke, I'm carrying a fucking eight-year-old around. Give me a break. But... The ship leaves port from the Kimlaskan side. Inquire at the Kimlaskan consulate. I'll see you again in Batical. Tyr, please look after Luke for me. Oh, right. Damn it, I don't get to kill you. It sucks. The way Van's sword kind of, like, swings out like that, I keep expecting to hit someone with it when he turns around. Man, this place isn't blue at all. What the fuck is this? Crackdown. That's the game I was thinking ah. of. Master, it's a new city. It's full of sand. Yeah, I hate this place. Yeah, now go eat it. Shut up, thing. Wow, we went in completely different that directions so with that one. I'll be a hero! The seventh phone on hyper resonance. Damn it! I'm not a tool to be locked up when I need it. Put Luke in the gun cage. 
I can prove myself here by stopping fight like the... a tiger. I can prove myself by stopping the war. They'll make me a hero, and then I'll be free. Luke, is something wrong? <laughs> Nothing at all. Let's go stop that war! Luke, you're so fucking stupid. Uh, okay. Which, to be fair, he was made stupid. He was kept stupid. And we just have to get back to the consulate and set sail to Batical. Well, Luke, that should wrap up your grand adventure. Hey, quit it with the quit it with the excellent adventure thing. Besides, I still got things to do after we get back. Yeah, you got an important job back at Batical. All right, getting an audience with the king and introducing me to your parents. You want to meet them? Sure, go ahead. Oh, Anis, you are stupid. <laughs> oh no! Wow, this place sure is packed. Well, you got stuff coming in from all over the world. Agricultural products, medicines, things like that from Malkath all passed through the consulate here in Kessedonia. Like most products exported from Kim Laska. The distribution system supports all those meals you've had. Wow, all the food must have had a long trip. Kinda like us. So we're vegetables now. Oh no, we're tomatoes! I don't know why, but I just thought that Luke and Ion would be a more natural pairing than the pre-established one. Luke and Ion have a weird, like, sibling relationship in my opinion. Kind of like big brother, little brother. Basically what's- Hey big guy, hey little guy. Luke is basically trying to act cool in front of the Pope, and the Pope's like, Oh wow, that's kind of cool, I guess. Plus I had Ansel probably offend Luke's parents and have to jail their executed. Maybe, but Anis is, is Anis's personal assassin to the She Pope. could also kill them. Yeah, basically. Just drop the fucking mecha doll on them. Remember, Wait. she is guardian to the Pope. She's basically a conscripted assassin? Are you really interested in doing business? Without getting the kids, there's like nothing I can do, you know? What are you planning on dealing in? Trade items. Oh! Yeah, and I sold all of them. I thought those were just for sale. Fuck. I mean, you're not wrong. You're coming here to tease me? To just fuck with me? What's wrong with you? I'll explain how it works. Sure. When you get trade items from monsters, bring them to me. When you turn in enough items that so looks like something can be made from them, I'll deliver them to Pressman and commission an item. If you don't have space to carry them, I'll take it instead. That'd make me happy, but well, be careful about that. I'd propose the item creation before I do it, so don't worry, just keep bringing in trade items. Get me gold out of lead, you know. Oh, I don't know, some this people is think That's just you know. like Persona 4. Yeah. Man, he is going on about the system, holy shit. Oh my god! And we have to invest Sh money in this, Oh! Shut up! Yeah, like, you have lots of money to spend. Oh god, I am in fucking debt. Yeah, when can you take out a loan? Or sell a kidney? When can you sell one of Anissa's kidneys? I don't know. I feel like I can still make use of her before we have to go straight to selling her kidneys. Also, personally, like, from what I remember of the game, Guy was always my favorite character, him and his entire character arc. Yeah, Guy's character arc is very good. I just enjoy Anis because she's Fawn. No. no, it's Fonon. Oh my, what's a fine gentleman like you doing in a place like this? Oh no, it's a horny pirate. She's a redhead. Yeah. Huh? Yup. What do you want? Come on, and scantily clad. Such a pretty face. 
outside cause skirt and everything. Uh. Don't ruin it by frowning like that. We're about to get fucking robbed, aren't we? She apparently likes twinks. Oh no! Some old lady is after my Luke! This is such a fucking strange scenario. Oh, As Anohita said, putting the hoe in your ho ho. I didn't mean to interfere. I'll be on my way. Stop. Hmm? Return what you stole. You can tell she spends a lot of time on the ocean because she's thirsty as fuck. Oh, thank god they subverted that trope. Hmm. So you're not all chumps, huh? York, take care of this. Urushi, we're out of here. No. No, okay, good. Oh! Oh, don't damn! Leave. If you return what you stole, I'll release you unharmed. Tear don't fuck around! You've got some guts making enemies of the dark ones. That is not the you voice I expected. Last of us. Isn't that the voice of what's his face from uh, Bakano? Oh, oh, no. Like, I don't know. I watch Bakano in Japanese, dude. Oh my god. They're the Dark Wings? If I'd known that, I'd have cut them to pieces. Yes, after all, you did a great job of protecting your wallet. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was real good at that, don't worry. By the way, Colonel, why did you just stand by and watch as she did that? Because it's funny. Oh, no, you got me. It looked like it would be so amusing. <laughs> also, the Dark Wings are another thing that returns between games. Really? Because this is the first game I saw them in. What nope. The Destiny, you Eternia, did. Rebirth, Abyss, Vesperia, Grace, Zillia, and Arise. Wait, Eternia? Where the fuck were the Darkwings in Eternia? They're a small group of adventurers. Yeah, but where at? I completely did. They appear all over the place. I like how Jesus just like, oh yeah, fuck. I, I, was, I wanted a show. God damn it, Tyr. Yeah, in Eternia, it's Grid the Dark Dragon King, Millie the Dark Rose, and John the Dark Panther. Wow, I just uh, I just never saw that in Eternia. That's because you didn't talk to that many NPCs. Yeah, maybe I should have, huh? Yeah, uh, they would, uh, they, they appear in several locations on both worlds of Inferia and Celestia, and there's a wanted poster for them back on the ship between, uh, Minchi and Inferia City, noting that they are stowaways. Where the hell's the and weapon shop? There's... there's gotta be a fucking weapon shop around here. I'm not going crazy, am I? Yeah, to be fair, also, they are not always pirates. Thank you uh, for the they, they are a group, but they vary greatly from game to game. Yeah, thank you for the follow thank you for the fucking uh, info dump on that. I've never known about that in, in Eternia. Oh my god, that's so fucking expensive. Yeah, they are a big plot point in uh, Arise. I have to be missing something. There's gotta be a weapon shop here. How is this a weapon? medicine shop you have fucking swords on your table 90 grand Mom. for a miracle gel what that's like that's right fucking york is liam o'brien in uh this no no he's just the runny no he's york The dude who was talking at you up on the building? So he has two rolls in this game? Huh. He has three. Holy shit. Well, technically four if you count additional voices. Uh, and he is uncredited, so... That's crazy. Then that was medicine shop. Uh, most of the voice actors... Uh, actually, I think all the voice actors are uncredited. Wow, that... Is that by willingness or by, like design. Does that suck if they did all their work and got uncredited for it? No, specifically all of the English voice actors seem to be uncredited. Uh, oh, that's later. 
shot. Tough to figure it out. Go with the miss for shot. He's the man by the medicine shop. Yeah, I got a guy here trying to figure out what to do here, because, like, I realized you could... We missed a lot within the first six hours. The bridge oh, out, so that's can... great, because... Mm, go on. The bridge out, I can go back, but in Grand, in Grand Hakma, that jewel you gave me sold for more than enough money to pay for the return passage. Uh, I think Tyr is also, like, the one member of the main cast that is, like, the most unknown in terms of voice actress. Interesting. Because she gets... some work. But not as much as the others, and... Yeah, she seems to be... Was she a new voice here, or was it just... She's she just relatively unknown. Uh, this... She was actually in Legendia. Oh. I'm sorry. Yeah, her first game her first game was the Shark Tale game. Followed by EverQuest, then Shadow of Rome, Tales of Legendia, Rainbow Six Lockdown. Uh let's see, Tales of the Abyss after that. Oh, there's more than one area here. Okay, so if we go south we can see more of the area. Funny enough, she was also in Eternal Sonata. Huh. I never played that game, but I heard it was pretty good. Uh, Christy Montero in Tekken 6. Uh, for fun games to think about, she was in Too Human. <laughs> Oof. Oh, this is just a bar. Fuck, I thought there was a weapon shop here. Yes, let's burn this place down, you fuck it! But yeah, it's, it's mostly a lot of bit parts. Man, this must have been in her first main role. Yeah, Nicole Balak. Yeah, I've never heard of that name. So... Let's go here... Oh yeah, this... This is a strange thing! It's Antlion Man! It's a fairy tale, right? Also, this this wasn't the uh, last main character role she had. She was Lady Morgan in Fire Emblem Awakening. Ah. Dude's like, ah, who fucking cares? He's liking it. Though I hesitate to call that role a main character role, but... So, this is a big trade thing. In that throughout the game, oftentimes the antlion male will ask for something, and you can supply him for stuff. I don't know if ha I think this happens in other games. Ah! Well, fuck that shell. That gets us fried chicken. Hell yeah. I mean, like, I I I gladly give away 300 gal for a cooking recipe. Yeah, he threw it in a pit. I don't know why you guys are mystified by that. What is fried chicken? Fried chicken cures poison. I disagree. <laughs> Extra ingredient lemon. Really? Wait! Wait! Look at the required ingredients for fried chicken! Fish? I mean, I don't see the issue. Ah. Uh, I love my- They call tuna the chicken of the sea. I love my fried chicken that doesn't have chicken. It's like my- it's like my beef- As I said. It's like my beef struggled off without beef. They- they- they call tuna the chicken of the sea. So Maybe. just imagine a, a glop oh. of tuna deep fried. I think the meat determines what you get because we also got physical attack from it. You guys have one side quest or if you like the items. Dead end of oh no! Why would they do this? There we go. Finally found the weapon shop. Oh Jesus Christ! 
Holy fuck! Well, time to stop being poor. I wonder if you'll be coming here later. It's almost like it's almost like Kessid is the center of the world. That's weird. I wonder we can... if you'll be getting a bow character later. I mean, we, it's like we have one extra slot in our character roster. That's well, fake. Well, this is pointless. You're from Batical. Huh? Yeah? What about it? Is it true that you can sell food and healing items for a lot of money in Batical? Yeah, it's true. They can't import them directly, so they're more valuable than other produce products. Really? Produce. They normally come in via Cassidonia, so there's taxes, too. I knew it. It's just like I thought. Taxes! That's secret. To make money, you gotta be able to sense which way the winds are blowing. Let me give you something to set. Thanks. What do you want? Oh, no. I don't know what I want. What's the guide say? I don't think the guide does say anything about this. Food items. Either two apple gels, two poison bottles, or three beef, three chicken, three rice. I mean, item sounds like a better deal. Yeah, honestly. That's surprisingly logical coming from you, Luke. And we, we refund the apple. Oh, that also provides magic lenses. What the fuck? Yeah, that is a significantly better deal than any food they could give you. Oh, there's another weapon shop here. Ah, this is the this is the budget one that we already own. I Jade could use a new weapon. Yeah, but if I can get Jade a new weapon, I'm gonna get the one over here. That's that's a direct upgrade. By him, the Corsesca. That's a fucking upgrade, holy shit. That's a big boost. I usually... Now, Jade, you can do respectable damage. Yeah, see, I usually use Jade whenever I play this game, so I wanted to swatch out to switch out to Anis to see, like, what's on the other side of the fence. And, uh, apparently that's fan art. <laughs> Thanks, Fenful. Is there an armor shop here? There we go. Yeah, after getting back into Arise, I really appreciate how well Arise's combat flows. Perfectly crafted masterpiece. 675,000 gold! As a joke, for laughs. But there is an upgrade here, so I should invest. It's great, they put it high as a joke, because honestly there's no way they're getting their money back on it. But then on the off chance somebody does buy it for that price. Like the lunatics they are. Uh, yeah, rich people. I'm not rich. God, the resale of this fucking garbage. Uh, iron bracelets. Damn it. Uh, yes, Kilio, yes, there is a plan. Uh, Wang has 100% a plan. Do I? For which Tales games you're gonna play? Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There, there's a quote. After this is gonna be e After this is gonna be Vesperia, then it's gonna be either Viseria or Arise, or both. I bought both, because fuck it. I like Tales games. I mean, Arise has sold me on the series, so... Oh man, going back's gonna be fun on the bun. For oh, you. I never said I would go back. I never said that. You don't, should don't you put words in my mouth. You should honestly go back because I feel like Vesperia is absolutely worth a playthrough. Uh, to to be fair, I do kind of want to go back and play Berseria, but like I have played other Tales games. It's, yeah, it's not like it was my first. Yeah, you played this one. Uh, I also played Symphonia. So, I, like, when I played Symphonia, I was, like, so meh about it. Yeah, I never finished Symphonia. I got to the end, but 
I, one thing came to another and I lost my copy because I lent a friend it and they, uh, they did never the gave it back. They always do the thing. It's fine. Said friend, I borrowed their copy of Final Fantasy IX for nine years, so. Nice. Go west to Astor's Manor. I see you guys. Oh, okay. So we want to... Yeah, this is the important thing I was looking for. No, 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 no. Don't go... Don't go to Super Great Friends AI2 playthrough. We don't want to play that here. <laughs> I think he's still behind me, thankfully, but I also play a lot longer. He is also at, at uh, oh, happy, happy Chikai. Chikara. Chikara. I haven't played Zillia. The only thing I know about Zillia is that Vic has streamed it for like a year and only got like five, five viewers max so whenever I checked in, so I was just like, oof. Oof, ouch. Which is a shame, because Vicus is a pretty cool dude. Yeah, it happens. Video games are weird like that. That's why I just, like, stopped caring and just go with the flow. Man, look at that fucking moon. That's why it's always weird seeing people's names you recognize. Like, not just regulars, but, like, other streamers you recognize appear in your chat. Yeah. Like, it's like earlier today. Tales of Zesty Nachos. Why are we here again? I don't know. I wasn't expecting Psych to drop by. <laughs> oh my! Phone Master Ion! Oh, this character... Mm. I think this character may be a little bit of a faux pas, if I remember right. If only you'd let me know you were coming! I'd have prepared a grand welcome for you! It's fine. We're trying to keep a low profile. A mansion of this size probably has a phone disc analyzer or two. I see you have an eye for luxury. Yes, my home Maybe does I'm have an analyzer. Yeah. But I remember Aster being master, strange so when I was a kid. That analyze that phone disc? Would you do that for us? Name it. The Kessadonia Merchants Guild is always at your service, phone master. He just reminds me of we Stan want to the read Salesman. The data from phone disc. Leave it to me. You there. Oh man, look at this Wario motherfucker. Yup. I analyze that phone disc and deliver the results to him. Yes, sir. Thank you. I wish he wasn't voice acted that way. I could change the voice. Alas, you cannot wire it up. Ion, you know this guy? It's thanks to the phone master that we were able to establish this place of exchange on the border. The Merchants Guild contributes large amounts of money to Doth. So, the church establishes a trade center. It's actually pretty nice of them. In return, the order enforces the recognition of Chesedonia as an autonomous state. Oh, so this is just desert Venice, I guess. You must be really rich, Aster. Venice, calm down. I can't handle it. Wow, I wish I lived in a place like this. You really don't, Annis, because it's kind of a fucking pain to clean up even with help. Please, Annis, slow your fucking roll. Here are the results of the analysis, sir. Shouldn't Jade be handling Thanks. that and not Guy? Well, I guess Guy did steal it, so he earns That's like uh, he earns first rights to the goods. I guess we'll read. Oh, so Guy is pretty trustworthy. Yeah, that's true. Then let's be going. Also, very Thank competent. You your assistance. Yeah, you missed it last time, but when Guy was introduced, um, the Pope was being held at gunpoint. No, I'm not joking. Literal gunpoint. And they were trying to figure out what to do. But we didn't realize that Guy had, like, been stalking us the whole time. So he drops down 30 feet from a flagpole, drop kicks the gun nun, and and takes back uh, uh, the Pope in, like, a split second. Gun nun didn't like, the, like that. Tried to shoot him, and Guy cuts the bullet out of the air. Yeah, Guy's pretty cool. Anytime you need something, please. He's a cool guy, if you would. He's a cool dude. <laughs> No, no, I know what I'm saying, Anna. You know, fucking Legretta's a gun nun. Uh, 
let's see. Your green control, re enter, head north. Head north, enter west door. Head, head north. Oh, oh, I see. Fuck, I went in the wrong door. Or is it the same thing? One of the drawers should have. The time traveling hero! This is an accessory for Annis! It is a doll with a red bandana. Greatly raises crit rate. And if we switch over to Annis. By putting her. No, no, no. Don't swap. Party display. Oh, it doesn't affect this Tokunaga. I guess it affects the in battle Tokunaga. Man, it sure is a shame how cool Legretta is. Legretta is a very good design, but a very boring character. Yup! It's a tragedy! Cause basically, Legretta is like, well, we really like Riza Hawkeye from Full Metal Alchemist. How are we gonna evolve her? Do what now? I don't know, I like her design more than Riza. It's just a shame the personality tacked onto it. Personality? Quote unquote. This is the bit I'm gonna stick with with Legretta, because I felt the same way. I'm like, man, she's a really good design. I wish she wasn't boring. Alright. I, should... I won't go into the specifics, but yeah, it's a shame how much her character is kind of meh. Alright, that should be everything. We can advance the plot now, looks like. Also, apparently she's 26. Uh, here you are. The ship is ready. Really? Please she seems older. Port. It's anime, homie. True. Oh, hey, look, it's a Beyblade. Look out. You want something to think about, Wang? Want something to really think about? What's that? Oh, shit. Van is 27. What? No. Hand those over. Yup. We shouldn't cause a scene here. To the ship. Oh no, guy got cursed. They just don't give no, up. No, no. You're not oh, getting no. away. And if you want something even more to think about, Jade is 35. Yeah, that's what I knew about that because he made all those old bones jokes. I'm like, motherfucker, Master you're like 35. Preparations are complete. I'm just saying, it's funny when you compare him to Van, who's 27. Oh yeah, because Van looks like he's in his 40s. You yep. excuse me? <laughs> We're being chased. Hurry. Ah, I see Luke has the weapon ready. I look forward to Mew oh, losing its lunch. Me. Ow? That's your reaction? Ow? <laughs> ah, it's my favorite character. He's back. This guy has oh, no so animation. Dumb. Looks like you blew this one, sick. Oh, it's you. He has no animation, but so much voice acting. Speaking Leave of Liam O'Brien, it's Liam O'Brien again. Yes. With my ultra super hyper high grade phonic technology, I'll flay that conniving long haired four eyed Liam O'Brien before he nuts. <laughs> It's wild to see Liam O'Brien not playing someone who's brooding. No, but he is doing the same villainous, vaguely yeah, British voice. Yeah, yeah. This is probably my stop, favorite stop, role of him. come back! I'm not done talking! Why, because everyone takes the piss out of him? Yes. I love this, too. It's like, don't walk away from me! I'm monologuing! I marked the one named Guy with a curse slot. I can make him my puppet at any time. Uh, shit. As for you, make sure you properly dispose of those documents from the Fomacry project. Fomacry? Now, who do you think you are? Just you wait, I'm putting this down in my revenge journal. <laughs> I do appreciate that he keeps a revenge journal. That's what I like about the Six God Generals, is that some of them are here for the plot, but the others are just fucking dumb. Is 
Is this the PS2 we version? Far, yep. We should be in the clear. Uh, look at Mew just jamming. Damn, I lost part Mew's of the always vibing, dude. Attacked. Let me see them. I got a pout here in the corner. Looks like isophone research. Three point one four one five nine two six five three five eight nine what? seven three two three eight four six. <laughs> this is Lorelei's phone on frequency. Oh, that's stupid. Yeah, no, let's not talk about what that number is. It's fine. <laughs> let's just pussyfoot Lorelei. around it instead. Isophones, phone on frequencies. What the heck are you talking about? Lorelei is the name for the aggregate sentience of the seventh phonon. Oh, so Lorelai is not a deity, but a hive mind for an element of sound. Whoa! Mm, hive mind, not when a certain amount quite... of a particular phonon gathers together. Yeah. It sentient. Oh, oh, it's more like animism. Okay. Control yeah. that, and you can perform high-level phonic arts. Thanks, Anis. It's weird coming from you since you're like a battle mage. Each one has a name. The first phonon sentience is called Shadow. The sixth is called Rim, and so on. <laughs> hey, look at this. Lorelei yep. still hasn't been observed. Its existence is hypothetical. Huh. How come all of you know this stuff? We went to grade school. Because well, basic knowledge. It's actually common knowledge. It's okay, Luke. You can't help it. Just keep learning from here on, and you'll be fine. You can't help it. They kept you stupid on purpose. Me, or are you being a lot nicer to Luke all of a sudden? <laughs> Fucking called out. <laughs> I, I don't know what you mean. Oh, also. I'm sorry. Just every time he says something like dumb, I get wetter no than Niagara Falls. I like Anna's here. Just like get this bitch needs to get off my turf. Way to change the subject. Very smooth. Smooth as sandpaper. Be quiet, guy. Isophones are two entities that have the exact same phonon frequency. Of course, they don't exist unless artificially created. Ah. Of course, if isophones were common, we'd have our hands full with hyper resonances all over the place. So, if you clone someone and then their butts touch, we have a hyper resonance as well. Exactly. So don't fuck Isophone yourself if you ever find your clone. Development. So the military has their eye on it. That Pharmacry technology they worked on a long time ago can make isophones, right? <laughs> and then the two yeah, suspicious people in the like room are like, right? uh... Shit, you're no, right. Replicas created through Pharmacry are mere imitations. A replica may look identical, but its phonon frequency is different. One can't produce isophones that way. Hmm. So clones do not have the same frequency. Uh, what the hell are you all talking about? What if about? you program them to have that frequency? Stuff? Jade can read those documents on his... That, that's kind of a, a still I feel like should be part of this stream's backlog. Just to him going, what the hell are you all talking about? Emergency! A large number of monsters and an unidentified phone tech signature approaching from Casadonia. Whoa! You guys got I here know, quick. They're here. I like how it was basically, okay, the explanation's getting a bit too wild. Here's some dudes to fight. Here, we'll give you some combat as a treat. Yeah, now that we can- Oh, hey, look! Tokodaga's different. I'll do whatever it takes. He's got a battle bandana now. But what were you gonna say? Oh, I was just saying, now that we have uh, Arcane R's combos flow a lot more smoother. Mm-hmm. And now those arts, those combos combined Can with free running, makes you an unstoppable murder beast. From reaching Kim Laska? You don't suppose they try to just sink the whole ship, do you? Master, what do we do? I can't swim. Man, Wait. remember that point in time where Johnny Young Bosch was in like everything? Oh yeah. Shut up and drown. I oh. say oh. slowly. They wouldn't come storming aboard. Slowly turning towards Guy. Slowly turning towards Persona 4. trying to take it over. Where he voices two very <laughs> so important characters. <laughs> the bridge before they do, huh? How many voices exactly. does JYB have here? I know he has Guy, but does he have anyone else as well? Uh, he does, actually. So of course. What a pain. Uh, let me no get the IMDB back Let's open. Go. Uh, did I close it? Oh, right, I forgot we're controlling Anis. 
Why do they keep attacking us? Let's see, there's nowhere to run. Oh, no, it's just Guy. It's probably why they keep attacking. Oh, I wouldn't give them that much credit. Colonel, why do you look so relaxed? Didn't you just say we need to hurry? It's just your imagination. As you said, we ought to hurry before the things, to the bridge before things get worse. Do 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 do. It was meticulously planned yet silly attacks remind me of... No. I just hope my perm permission turns out to be groundless. So one thing I do like about this game is that alongside the designated Tails pairings, there is also the designated Tails rivals in this game. Because uh, Annis has Arietta, uh, Guy has Sink, and uh, Jade has Dist. And that rivalry is so fucking funny. It's nuts. Please, it's Dist the Rose. He calls himself. Oh, buddy? No, 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 it's Dist Rose. Oh, you. <laughs> Why did we even fucking buy this stuff? Congrats on being poor. I completely sympathize with Anis on a fundamental like, level. Yes, Caesar Kose, but like, it's pretty egregious what they do with Yuri, uh, with uh, Johnny Young Bosch's voice in uh, Persona yeah. 4. It kind of tells a lot, almost spoiler tier in a way. Yeah, that's why I'm not mentioning them. Exactly. Because I did that in your stream and I still feel bad about it. I told you, it wasn't a big deal. It was only on screen for 10 seconds. No one can stand before the agent of justice, Tokunaga. I don't know about justice. I think evil's more like it. No, Tokunaga's Damn. great. No, I like the both of them just teaming up to shit on her. It's great. Whew. What's wrong? Nothing. Leave me alone, will ya? You? You've gotten better at fighting. Now you can pay a little more attention to your surroundings and we'll get your ass beat. Hey, excuse me for all the monsters finding me. As long as you know, there's no need to run away from everyone, but no need to fight them all either. I disagree. We need all that fucking cash tier. And the experience. And the experience. Yeah, they, the 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 thing about Luke you mentioned before about how his abs looks weird is because they they do weird shading to make it look like that it's it's they do a weird shading thing to make it look like it's a dynamic angle, but really it just looks like half of his ab is missing. Well, it doesn't help too that because of the uh, the belly window, um, it feels like they tried to fit more abs in for the sake of the shot. Oh, so they're like a lot of very tiny abs. Compressed abs. There's another item I want to get here, but I don't know where it is. But I feel like I just walked into a fucking boss fight. But yeah, it's like, uh... Especially as the series goes on, it's generally pretty good about pacing out the level ups and experience, as long as you pretty much fight everything along the way. What the fuck is happening here with this toy robot? Bone stone fragment? You know what's going on, Colonel? Unfortunately, I think so. Anyway, that's a valuable resource. Let's get it back. Chase Barrelo X across the deck! Anyone caught running when the deck begins to shake will stumble, opening up to monsters from above. So, red light, green light. Got him! Don't interfere! <laughs> Where did that sword come from, guy? The sheath, you idiot, of course. But there's still a shit sword in the sheath, look! Uh, the, the other sheath. The invisible <laughs> sheath. See? Oh, that's so fucking funny. He keeps the sheath inside his sheath. You haven't heard the last of me! Ah, oh, fuck! Okay, later, homie. What a 
what a weird bit just put in here. By the way, I appreciate Jay just going, naturally, we'll leave it alone. Here are the keys, don't lose them again. Oh, we got a... That's what I was looking for, the, the boots. We got our first capacity core, but not the first capacity core. Nobile, uh, F attack 2, F defense once. It is a uh, magic attack item. So naturally, we're gonna give it to Anis. Uh, everybody looks fine except for loot, but I don't. Well, I have an orange shell. Yes. Because I believe the shit gets stirred here. Where the heck is their leader? Let's hurry mm, up and search this. <laughs> I BALANCING <laughs> ON THE STRING! <laughs> Listen, you ignorant <laughs> savages, and you shall hear my beautiful name. I am the most graceful member of the six god general, the one and only Dist the... What? Why, if it isn't Dist the Runny... The Rose! What, 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 what's wrong, Rook? E Rose! Dist the Rose! I wanna, I wanna let these two... I wanna let these two fucking stab at each other. You mean Dist the Reaper. <laughs> Silence! I refuse to accept that name. It's Rose. Rose! This really wants to be that dude from Sailor Moon. What, He's called Dist Rose because he rises in his chair. I'm in the Oracle Knights too, so... But why do you know him, Colonel? I, the genius Dist, once counted that duplicitous snake Jade amongst my friends. Which Jade is that? I don't know any jades with such poor taste in friends. What did you say? <laughs> the, their their repertoire is very good. Ah uh ah, -uh, repartee. You know how your nose runs when you get mad. That's why he's called Distherunny. Uh, no, it doesn't. <laughs> this is stupid. <laughs> oh no. Um... I, I love the faces in this game. They're very good. I need this as a screen cap. How do I get screen caps on this fucking program? I usually just take a full screen screenshot. Or you could use snipping tool. Oh uh, yeah, I should use snipping tool. I used alt print screen. Do -do 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 -do. There we go, perfect. I'll have to use that later. Talesgames.png. No, 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 no. There's another one for that one that I'll have to get. They're off in their own little world. Enough of this. Now, hand over the phone disk data. You mean this? We, we call them SIM cards, sir. <laughs> How careless, Jade. He's so fucking fast in that chair. You can have them. I've already memorized their contents. <laughs> oh. I'm being mocked by savages. When you taste the pain of my super ultra gorgeous arts, you'll regret what you've done. No, I, I appreciate Liam O'Brien hamming it the fuck up. By the way, we're not fighting just Brian. His, his, his egg robot? Wow, I just completely missed that. I do think Liam O'Brien is at his finest when allowed to chew the scenery. At least when doing that stupid fucking voice, everyone has him do. Wow, Tears just learning everything, holy shit. Look, it's a good day to be Tear. Except her burgeoning attraction for a complete fucking idiot. That's pretty bad. I feel bad for her. Yeah, unfortunately, over over limit doesn't really do anything for us outside of a attack and defense boost. And I have out of TP, so this sucks. I guess you'll have to use leaves now. Or your hand. 
Uh oh. Like a fucking animal. Oh, I thought Oh, I know what I should do here. Hang on a second. I almost forgot. Well, he's almost fucking dead. It'd be easy if I had Jade on the party because Jade has Splash, but the robot's easy anyway. I mean, to be fair, Cesar Cosa, he's basically typecast as whatever needs a vaguely British accent at some point. Which is great. Because it, it, it sure isn't a British accent, but damn, if he don't sound posh. There we go. You got the kill? Just stay I did. First time Liam O'Brien's character I heard was Oswald and o Oh yeah, he was Oswald. There he go! Goodbye! Into the ocean. Look. Sploosh. It'll take more than that to kill him. He has the tenacity of a cockroach. Right now, I'm off to check the bridge. I'm sure he didn't do I'll anything. I'll go with you. Ladies, please protect Luke and Ion. Hmm? Damn. Don't tell me you're afraid of us, guy. Uh, no, of course not. Uh, bye. What should we do? Let's check to see if anyone's injured. Yes, you're right. And then the it's super pope can heal him. A messenger of peace. You got that right. Ah, yes, messenger of peace atop side your battle mech. Oh, I thought the game crashed for a second. I was a little worried. Look at this man's hair! An Luke. I am Goldberg, commander of the 1st Division Kimlaska Lanvaldia Royal Forces. I know that voice. Is that also near? No. Congratulations on your safe return. What the fuck is that voice? Yeah. A carrier pigeon arrived with a message from Count Almondy. He said you were That's traveling with an emissary Jameson of Price. from the Malkuth Empire. What has he done? Hi, Maya. A lot. Phone master of the Order of Lorelei. I bear a letter from His Imperial Majesty Emperor Peony the Ninth of the Malkuth Empire. Sorry, look at Luke right now, just staring into fucking nothingness. Just looking through to see things you may have seen recently. May I ask an audience with His Majesty King Ingebert the Sixth? Ah, yes, Leo Whitefang General in Guilty Gear. Here will ah. be responsible for escorting you to the castle. Brigadier General Cecile, at your service. Anderson and the Great Pretender. Oh, I've heard that one. Uh, no, excuse me. Yeah, I figured that's I've why I mentioned it. Servant of Luke's. Hanba and oh, Doro Hidoro. And Papanir? Is he Papanir? I thought he wasn't. First Splatoon Oracle Knights Intelligence Division. Need to go back in time. The Sojuro is definitely is noticeable. Oracle Knights Phone Master God. Let's see. Colonel Jade Curtis, commander of the 3rd Division, Malkuth Imperial Forces. I represent his Imperial Majesty. Pretty sure he wasn't near. You're the Jade Curtis? Say the words! You taught me a painful lesson in our battle in Northern Casedonia, General Cecile. No, oh, yeah, he is near and near. Oh, I like this interaction here where Jade's like, Oh yeah, I remember you. You kind of fucked me up, didn't you? You must be joking. My forces were virtually wiped out. You're well known as the Emperor's personal confidant, Colonel. A dark confidant, as it were. <laughs> Magic jokes. If you're here, Malkuth must indeed be serious. Tensions along the border are greater now than at the start of the Hog War. We have no choice but to be serious. Correct. Well then, Luke, my Batical Defense Unit will escort you back to your home. Hold on. Ion asked me to speak to Uncle on his behalf. I'm taking him to the castle. Thank you, Luke. I appreciate the support. Hang on a second, I got a job. I'm impressed, Luke. You truly understand your responsibility. I'm gonna be a hero. Uh, uh, yeah? Understood. In that case, I shall send General Cecile to inform His Grace, Duke Favre. 
If you would, General Cecile. Yes, sir. It's wild because I'm pretty sure he also voices Largo in this game. And I think they use the exact same voice. Uh, they do that a lot. Show us the way. Right, let's go. And you are right, though. He is he is Largo. Also, Elder McGovern. Really? Mm hmm. I couldn't tell with Elder McGovern. Like, that is a totally different voice. Oh, uh, yeah, I mentioned that Divine Hero. Yeah, he is near. Also, what is, like, this fucking rock ballad? I don't know, dude. There's a dog here. I think. Those polygons look, uh, not, not great. Look, man, this game's fucking old. Except... You know what, never mind. It's just, it's old. It's, the game is old. It's mid-generation PS2, but yeah. No, it isn't. It's actually late PS2. You know the Sims was late PS2, really? No, yeah, yeah you're right, you're right, because that's when the 360 started. Yup. Sir, this is Annis. You are talking to a 12-year-old. Alright, if you want something to think about, uh... Fucking Oblivion came out uh, in 2006. Whoa... What the fuck? Yeah. Welcome to Batical. This is where Luke originally started at. This weird, like, industrial era so town. This is Batical? What? You're acting like you've never seen it before. I can't help it. I don't remember. Oh, that's right. You've never been outside since you lost your memory. Seven years trapped in the house. Wow! Kept stupid. What a city. It goes straight up. You could fit two or three Chiga Woods in here. Maybe more. Okay, once again, his personality sucks, but it is important to note that he was kept docile and stupid. When a phone stone fell from the sky. Deliberately. So we built this city in a crater in the ground. Meaning that it's protected by natural walls. That's a logical design. Damn it. It doesn't feel like I've come home at all. I actually like that detail a lot. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Not again. I completely forgot about these dorks. One of them has a mouse in his head. I, I mean, I'm sorry to tell you this, amigo, but that's New Orleans. They're gonna build the city on top of the swamp. <laughs> I think a lot. I think there's been a fair bit of cities built on top of swamp. Especially in like the south, yeah. Southeast. Oh, you're a dead woman. But New Orleans is a very notable one. As far as Anderson just drop her fucking battle mech atop her. Yeah, and like half the Netherlands. The Netherlands and Swamplands? Huh. Swamp is all over, dude. Yeah, I just didn't really think about that, you know? The joys of sinking cities. This is the fabled city of Atlanta. Now we gotta protect the Pope against the circus. <laughs> the fucking circus. Those carnies at it again. I don't know if I'm imagining things, but I feel like Annis is like lightning fast compared to everybody else. I do like the look of this town, though. Like, it's very, uh, industrially era, so you have, like, a bunch of just posters just plastered all over the place. Oh, yeah. T to go back a bit, if you want to feel it even weirder, uh, Oblivion was March of 2006. Oh, I see. The inn doesn't actually function in this area because you just use Luke's house. 
Look at how big those doors are. I mean, Alice is just tiny. Okay, switch to another character then. Let me prove my point. Uh, da, da, da. let's go with the tallest one. Okay, yeah, they're pretty tall. <laughs> Cause like, we're pretty tall, so doors kind of like barely come up to our head. These doors are fucking huge. But yeah, there's a fucking size difference with Anis. Holy shit! Let's see, what's what is in Vatical? We can get a recipe here alongside the moon selector. Uh, you want something funny to think about? What's that? Anis is five feet even. What? No. Yeah. Let's see. How tall is Jade? Jade is six one. Okay, that's a little bit more sensible. Who's the closest person to Anis? My guess would be Ion. Let me check. Well, let, let's go with char playable characters we have in the party right now. Yeah, that's why I said Ion. Ion's not a playable character. He's a guest character. Uh. Oh, okay. Cause Ion is 5'5? Five five? Tier is about the same height. Tier? You're saying? Oh no no no. Tier is about Tier is below the second square while Anis is just above the Luke first. Luke is 5'7. Five seven. Tier is 5'4. Okay, that tracks because Luke is a little bit taller than Tier. And guy is six foot. What? These are official. Really? So there's like, what, five inches in between Guy and Luke? Also, Tyr is 16? Yeah, that tracks. Oh. Remember, it's gotta appeal to teenagers in Japan. She doesn't look 16. She looks 23, doesn't she? Like, early 20s. The age bracket in this game is fucking wild. Anis is supposed to be 14. It's it's weird. I believe we have to go to the manor. Oh, we're going to see a new character, by the way. I don't know if... Okay, uh, but first. Ah. Sigh. Luke seems unhappy. Even after getting back home, it's no different than anywhere else. Poor Luke. Hey, Luke, let's wander around the city for a bit. Why? I just want to go home already. Come along. We come all this way. Might as well have a little bit more fun. Think of it as a sightseeing. I don't really feel like... Come on! After all, not everyone here has been to Batical before. Yep, that sounds good to me. Sure, why not? I don't mind. Me neither. I think that's a fine idea. There you have it. Luke, shall we? Ah, uh, fine, whatever! God, if there's anyone who knows how to manage Luke, it's Guy. Guy is good people. Guy is good guy. Cannons for attacking invaders. It was primarily used to destroy monsters that escape from the factory rooms. Hello? I'm sorry. We just abandoned- We gotta talk about this? No? Okay. I love how everybody assumes that you're gonna have the Luke as the, as the front facing character. So when you have Anis here, it's kinda hilarious. No, Anis is a very important. Go. I don't even remember this room. What the fuck? That's the orb room for the orb. Double elevator. Man, it's a good thing the royals never lead to need, never lead to need, never need to leave. 
Can I end up with never lead to Neve? Goddamn. Oh, this is real funny because I can see the fucking bone structure of a town in uh, Tales of Vesperia here. Please go to the castle, goddammit! Can I read this? No, I cannot. Safe? Ah, probably a good idea. We've had bad luck with the emulation recently. Yeah, as a general rule of thumb, save early, save often. Damn, that's a lot of saves you're making. It's fine, I have a memory card dedicated entirely to this game. I'm living the lap of fucking luxury. A very girthy memory card. Also, this is kind of metal. How they just have an entire fucking speech on their carpet here. It's good. Wasteful, but good. Grand Maestro Mose is currently in an audience with His Majesty. Please wait. Wait, wait, Mose. That's the Chimera dude from Elden Ring, right? No. Mose is the guy trying to start the war, right? Oh, oh, no, 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 right. He's the conservative Christian. I forgot. Let's get in there before he gives my uncle any weird ideas. Please, stop. I'm Luke, son of Duke Fabra. Get in my way and I'll have them fire you. Bruh, calm down. Luke, now he's got a good reason sure to be pissed. To force our way in like this? It'll be fine. It's fine. I'm royalty. So who's this Moe's character? The Malkuth Empire is strengthening the defenses in their capital, Grand Copa. Of course they are. It's the fucking capital. With Engave as their supply base, even Saint Bina has been. <laughs> Oh man, that fucking face! Man has like 50% uh, 50 jaw. That man is like if you stretched a carpet across an alien's face. Shut up! Out of my way! Is that you, Luke? Suzanne's son? Ah uh, yes. Yeah. My the 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 the, the royal kids, Ingebert and Suzanne. That's right, Uncle. Ah, I heard Look, what happened. They I learned after the first one. From <laughs> yeah. Then the people beside you must be. Phone Master Ion of the Order of Lorelei, and Jade from the Malkuth military. It is an honor to see you again, Your Majesty. I am Ion. Phone Master, we've been looking for you. Mose, let us speak later. You're going in the punishment chamber, young man. Your Majesty, this is Colonel Jade Curtis. He represents His Imperial Majesty, Peony the Ninth. I am honored to be in your presence. I like Peony. Peony's cool. Oh yeah, you actually played this game. Yeah, when we actually get to see him, Peony's a very cool character. I bear an Imperial letter from my Lord, for His Glorious Majesty, King Ingobert the Sixth. Uncle, what Moses is saying is nonsense. I went and saw Malkuth with my own eyes. We didn't get close to the capital, but Engave and St. Bina were completely peaceful. W what did you say? I'm merely trying to convey to His Majesty the threat that Malkuth... Shut up! You're just trying to start a war. I don't even know you, and I'm sick of you already. Oh, <laughs> savage. Luke, Damn. Down. The letter from Malkuth has made it here. I won't ignore it. You all must be tired from your long journey. Please, get some rest. No, it's it's nice seeing Luke being absolutely savage to the right people. We've prepared rooms in the castle for our emissary guests. Please, allow me to escort you. If I may, I'd love to see Luke's manor. Very well. When your business is finished outside, please return to the castle. Tyr, you stay here. I must hear your report regarding the matter I assigned you. I need to bitch at someone because my plans were foiled. Grand Maestro, it is my responsibility to see that Luke makes it safely to his manor. I will return with my report shortly. Very well. I bid you my leave, Your Majesty. What the fucking stare down? What? Luke, Suzanne. He's fucking pissed. Oh shit, what? Mother's sick. Wait, what? 
I've sent Natalia to her side in my place. Please, look after them for me. Got a bad feeling. This is going too smoothly. That Moe's looks like he's trying to start a war after all. Tell lies to Uncle about Malkuth. Well, in any case, the letter has changed hands safely. I am certain His Majesty won't ignore it. I'll make sure to arrange a chance for you to talk with him further later. Well, well, Luke. I see your rank is indeed useful after all. Do you always need to talk like that? Yes. He My will die if he doesn't. It is a curse. I really do appreciate your help. <laughs> I think you're so special. He is special, though! He's friends with the Emperor! Yeah, what, what they call it, like, like, confidant or some shit? Yeah, that's kind of a big deal! But yeah, this is going pretty fucking smooth, isn't it? Way too fucking smooth. It's a Tales game, something's gonna go wrong. I <laughs> like how they had to cut away to put Luke at the front. Who's ready for the sixth and final Father, character? Home. I've heard the report from General Cecile. I'm glad you're safe. Thank you for your help, guys. Cecile's hair bun is kind of cute. I like that. It is my honor, sir. I see, I see you're a big fan of Artoria. You must be tired. Please relax and make yourselves comfortable. More like. What the fuck was her name? It was the gal in in uh, Case Files of El Malloy. Thank you. Gray, which is yeah, it's just another Artoria, Artoria. I know, but like. By the way, Luke, that's Artoria, but goth. Exactly. Now you're getting it. Uh, I see Master you like him, goth. We split up at Casedonia. He said he'd come by boat later. Duke Fabra. You're not denying I'll it. Head to the port. Of course not. It's kind of fucking well known. Yes, I'll leave the matter of Van to you. <laughs> I'll go to the castle. Goth Tweed. I hear it was thanks to you that my son was spirited halfway across the world. Get ready to be arrested. I apologize for the trouble I've caused. Your Van's sister? Yes. I've received a report that you intended to assassinate Van. Or were you in fact conspiring with him instead? Oh? Conspiring? I don't understand what you mean. Well, I'll leave that alone for now. Let's go, General. We'll never see Dad's face. His grace was acting strangely. Dad, what was that about? I wonder what's up with Master Van. There's a lot of things going on that we don't know shit about. I think I should be going, too. As long as you're here, you should probably apologize to the lady as well. She probably fell ill because Luke went missing. You're right. I'll do that. I like how guys just hear... <laughs> Guys just in here like, I have to keep the party together or else this is gonna fucking fall apart. Her delicate constitution, she was overcome with the vapors. God, shut up! <laughs> just in case. I don't know why. Yeah, she, it really does seem like she rockets. Is it like because she's tiny that she, she, like, she just zooms around? Does Anna have a be case? zooming. Does Anna have a case of the zoomies? Luke. By the way, here's the sixth character. Ugh. I'm going to level with you. What I do not remember her you at you all. Didn't realize how worried I was. There's a good reason for that. Oh well, you know, Luke's just embarrassed, Your Highness. Guy, you have some explaining to do too. I told you to come tell me before you went searching for Luke. Why did you leave without speaking to me? Because you were going to join us and it would have been a little awful. You know a servant like me can't get into the castle? Why are you backing away? D do you not know Natalia? You know He's why. afraid of your power. Once I marry Luke, you'll be my servant too. Get used to it. I can't! Not a very good first impression of our final character, you know? You're so I, I have... I... Look She's a blank in my memory. I don't know what the maids see in you. By the way, that's a very funny point there. Uh, Guy gets a lot of flirts. I'm sorry to hear about Van. What's going on with Master Van? Oh, my father didn't tell you. But yeah, Natalia is Princess Natalia. She is she is the the biggest of nobility, with all of the baggage. 
She's his cousin. God! You're right! That's mm -hmm. so weird! Oh man, incest is best, relatively speaking. Oh god, why is that arranged marriage so weird? I don't like this at no. all! I mean, it's royalty, homie. I know, but like, fact, I didn't even think about that! Abs <laughs> very so intensified. Jesus Christ! Like, <sighs> I can see why Luke is just like, oh, I don't want to deal with this shit. Oh? Who's I don't want to fuck my cousin. That's weird. Luke, don't tell me you've taken advantage of one of your servant girls. What? There's no way I'd touch a chick as cold as that. Besides, she's not a servant. She's Master Van's sister. Oh, you're the one who caused this commotion in the first place. Tear, was it? Enough about that. Tell me what's gonna happen to Master Van. He's under arrest. Van will likely be arrested as soon as he arrives in Batical. Worst case, I presume he'd be executed. So I feel like we missed a detail somewhere. Oh no! Ion! The Commandant's in danger! Fun fact, Luke doesn't remember any of this. And just, oh god, you're right. Yes, we must issue a protest from Doth at once. Natalia, Master Van wasn't involved. Please, talk to Uncle about it. You've got to save him. All right. I can't turn down a request from you, Luke. In exchange, please hurry and remember that promise you made. <laughs> oh, boy. I told you, I don't to remember her fields. when I was a little kid. To sow the seeds. Yes, yes, your memory loss. But how romantic would it be if the first thing you remember was your proposal to me? Oh, yeah, I forgot. She's like that. Hurry up and go talk to Uncle about Master Van. Honestly, you can be so mean. Fine. Natalia is strange. Sorry, I don't remember my promise to completely wreck that ass up. I'm pretty close, Anis. I'm not gonna lie. That, that, that clothing did, like, fucking nothing for me. Time for her to try courting the princess. God, I'm just, like... I'm just fucking blown away by that, honestly. I didn't even, like, think about that when I was a kid. Cause yeah, they're just siblings, aren't they? They're like They're cousins, they're cousins. cousins. There's like one one step away. His mom is the king's sister. So they are first cousins at that. Oh, so weird. Royalty baby! And yeah, the, Luke, the, the oh, fact Luke. that Luke doesn't remember a damn you? thing makes it so fantastic. Also, it's I'm great how mundane his mom again. looks compared to everyone else in the family. Right? I'm fine. Here I am, home again. Madam, I beg your forgiveness. I'm the one who involved your son. I tried to strike down my brother without thought to where I was. I mean, how could you have possibly fucking known what Luke is? So, you are Van's sister, Tyr? Yes. I see. You say that what happened this time was not the work of villains pursuing my son? By Lorelai and Yulia, I swear it What do you mean, not. this time? Uh, last- when Luke- when, uh, seven years ago- The Luke kidnapping, yes. Yes. Thank you. So Suzanne and suspects Tyr, that it was it was the same scenario again. Between you and Van. But please, that sure would be convenient. Never again think of striking down your own brother. Family fighting family <laughs> is entirely too. <laughs> 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 uh, it's, it's fun. Pl it's fun playing a game you know about. I am grateful for your kind words. <laughs> you ever just see foreshadowing that was the size of a frying pan hitting your fucking dome? Please don't strike down your brother. She says about the man who is quite clearly evilly conspiring with Luke. Go let everyone see that you've returned. Yeah. Planning to manipulate Luke, I should oh, say. Right. 
Yeah, that, uh, that dialogue in the book, I didn't realize how just fucking nefarious that was. Mama taking your dollar bill! <laughs> just a hundred gold sitting in there. Mom, I'm getting a soda with this dollar! Uh, there is a side quest here, I believe. Can I help you? No. Uh, have we met before? N no, I'm not suspicious at all. By the way, Gar, you aren't being a layabout, are you? Have the opportunity, go visit the old man named Gi who lives in the Zhao Desert to the east. If you tell him Pear sent you, he should be able to teach you something useful about the sword. Uh, okay. Time to not remember this. Yeah, that was a side quest. Not what I was looking for, but yes. Yeah, let's get some fucking rest, because, like, I have no MP. Well, I guess I'll be going then. Oh, so you'll like all be sharing this bed. was left in the hands of a mere servant like me. Oh, that's funny. Um, the uh, Kimlask and Lanvaldir army is pissed that Guy Cecil here was the one tasked to save uh, Luke. Time to go kiss up while I give my report. Well, because he's supposedly just a servant. Luke, please don't forget about me. Oh. On paper is just a servant. I'll be sure to put your photo right next to my family who I don't remember. It was a fascinating experience. Thank you. See ya. I'll make sure to remember you when I'm plowing my cousin. <laughs> and thus the D&D party dissolves. I need to report to Grand Maestro Mose, so I'll be leaving Please, now this too. isn't dysfunctional enough. Oh, okay. How dysfunctional the D and D games do you Make play? Sure you take good care of her. Like you're You've in a never been at odds with party that. members. Come on. I suppose you're right. Farewell. You know me. I'm not hey, the type to wait. push any any confrontations. Yes. I do it if it's entertaining. Don't worry about it too much. I will actively sabotage party members Mother if it's amusing or if they're annoying me. To begin with. Thanks. Like, I always hate it when a, a player tries to act too smart, if that makes sense. I actually do know what you're talking about, because that's a bad habit for me. I've been playing some uh, low-end characters recently, and I I say something not realizing I'm sounding too smart. No, when I say I mean metagaming way too hard. Oh, I see. Good morning, Master Luke. Another beautiful day today, isn't it? Also, black and red for a maid outfit. That's a... Uh... It's an interesting decision. According it's like I played a uh, score, though, there may a be uh, aliens tabletop later. game with someone with a few people, and one of them was trying really hard to outsmart the system and the DM. So I deliberately went out of my way to sabotage it and cause more problems a because it was pissing me the hell Italia, off. Requesting your presence in the castle. It's okay for me to leave the manor now. Yes, apparently so. I mean, you've been spirited away, so the folks are just like, Oh, it'll be good for you. Get the fuck out there, Luke. What can Natalia want? Damn, my cousin. She could have come here directly. Could have something to do with Uncle? Maybe it's about Master Fan. But still, they sure let me out without much of a fuss. God, man! Now that you mention it, it fucking frames all of this in a weird light. Like, what he was saying to Luke was, like, very clearly weird and ominous, and he was taking it too casually. I mean, that too. I didn't even think twice about the royalty thing. Oh, the royalty thing is still fucking you up, really? <laughs> Let me tell you about the Habsburg jaw, okay? I'll have to look that up later, but, like... When I first played this game, that didn't even cross my mind.
Look, all I'm saying is, uh, nobility is known for inbreeding, and the Habsburg draw is a very known, very well known, uh, result of that. Oh, I think I know what you're talking about, actually. Also, if you notice there, uh, all the maids set up to bow when Luke leaves. That's how you know he's privileged. Because he lives next door to the fucking castle. I don't know why that just kind of clicked in for me now, but it's just like, oh, huh. Then the seventh phone stone is an Xeriuth? Yes, it's likely that Luke will also wind up going there, and what about me? Luke, you idiot. The fuck you say about me, bitch? Oh, greetings, Luke. We've been waiting for you. Colonel Curtis is already waiting inside. Jade's here? But well, yeah, that's kind of what he's here for, dude. Let's go. Also, I just realized Luke has an undershirt as well alongside the coat. Both are cut to expose the abs. I mean, it's he has a crop top underneath. I'm not sure what you could do to fix Annis. Either party ignores her and she keeps making those comments. Or uh, they push we've back been and waiting start. For you, Luke. Uh, I mean, it could actually be an entire character growth thing. Is her realizing what she's doing is not okay after they push back and snark? An emergency assembly was called last night. We agreed to formalize a treaty with Malkuth. Oh, interesting. The letter from Malkuth contained the proposal for the peace treaty, but also a request for aid. Where's the queen? There is a mining city in Malkuth called Exeriuth. It is facing a crisis due to the miasma, the poison blight that seeps oh, up from Mars domain. Oh, we're about to learn a lot about this world. Mm -hmm. Malkuth can't rescue its own citizens because the miasma is blocking their road to Axeriuth. But Axeriuth was originally our territory. We want that shit back. So naturally, there's also a connecting road from the Kite Sewer side. With that in mind, they requested our aid to protect their citizens. Yeah, helping their people would be a nice gesture, but what's that got to do with me? <laughs> I wonder. His Majesty has graciously assigned you the honor of becoming Kimlaska Lanvaldir's goodwill ambassador. That's a lofty goal to give a man who's had seven years of amnesia. Me? No. I've had enough fighting already. Natalia talked to me about Van. We too are uncertain regarding Van's guilt. Thus, we have a proposal. Guilt about what? If you will travel Not to protecting Luke. as a goodwill ambassador, we will release Van and have him aid you. Did they ever explicitly state that? Master Van's been arrested? He's being held beneath the castle. He's been- Oh yeah, because the they think he's conspiring against the crown. All right, if you'll set Master Van- Because remember, uh, the Duke, your dad, uh, was very obviously sp more suspicious more of him. Oh, right, he was talking about that with Tear. Shut up. I'm glad you've agreed to help. There's Sorry, I missed, I forgot who Van was for a hot second. One to fulfill this role. I'm glad you've decided to help after we blackmailed you, Luke. What? Look at this phone stone. This is part of Yulia Jue's sixth phone stone, which fell into our nation's territory. Tear. Read the score that is written on the lower portion of this phone stone. Uh, I believe this is what was stated yes, at the start of the game. ND 2000. In Kimlaska shall be born the scion of Lorelei's power. He will be of royal blood with hair of red. Oh, this is the year 2000 in game. That's funny. He shall be called the light of the sacred flame. And he will lead Kimlaska. Well, no, it's 2017. ND 2018. The young scion of power shall 18. bring his people to the minor city. There, and the rest is missing. That's mm, sufficient. Convenient. In other words, Luke, you are the chosen youth. That's a that's a bold assumption. Have you seen any other redheads? Don't worry. Have confidence in yourself. You remember this ominous. Oh, the dialogue. power of hyper resonance will make you a hero. Actually, we did see another redhead, Torpo. A hero? You wanna be a hero, Luke? I wanna be a hero, Dad. I mean, Van. 
What you do is you take your hands and put them together. It is time you became a hero. Man, they're really hammering this home, huh? They are laying it on so fucking thick. A hero. A hero. What is it, Colonel? Nothing. Well, who shall accompany him besides me? The Order of Lorelei wishes to send along Tyr and Van. Luke, who would you like to take with you? You should take Guy with you as your personal attendant. <laughs> you should bring Guy along as well. He's pretty cool. I'm glad I hired not him. Just, <laughs> not just because he's on my payroll and under my thumb. I Father, think he's pretty cool. I really think that I should go along as an ambassador as well. I told you last night that will not do. God damn. Uncle, may I go see Master Van? Do as you wish. I'll have the others who are to accompany you wait in front of the castle. You can tell that she's really trying to be the sixth party member. So I'm gonna be real, that looks less like a royal dress and more like nightwear. I was thinking more like something you just wear around the house. God, you're right, the abs do look a little compressed, don't they? Yep. Master Van was captured, but me, a goodwill ambassador. Also, I know what they're trying to do here with the scene, but like, whenever Luke talks, he looks like a fucking chipmunk. It's the, it's the, it's the upper jaw that's doing it. His solid block of teeth. It's like how rabbits have two teeth. Have other teeth? They have top, your, their top tooth and their bottom tooth. Huh. They have giant fused teeth, that's why. Well, it's about that time of the evening, so let's, uh. Is it really? Wow, how the fuck did it happen so soon? Really, it to me, it felt like it kind of tracked on it a little bit at one point. I mean, after I got here, it felt like it went real smoothly. <laughs> Oh yeah, we'll call it here for the evening. We'll definitely continue this more because this is a Tales game and we gotta get as much fucking time as I possibly can. Content. Content. Only nine hours in. That's fucking weird. Unlimited content. Also, 101 encounters, huh?